Hello. <clears throat> Hi. Hi there. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hello, everybody. It's that time. It's that time. Here. How are you all? How are you all? <laughs> Hello, Hannah. Hello. Um, lots of love. Whoa! 11 months cat clap. Crystal, thank you so much for the 11 months. Yahoo! Yeah, woo! 11 months, woo! <laughs> thank you so much for the 11 months, Crystal. Woohoo! Yeah, woohoo! Oh my gosh, almost a year, almost a year. Oh my goodness gracious. <clears throat> okay, hello, Smiley. Hello, um, Fast Top. Fast Cop. Hello, Lime Green. Hello, Command. Hello, Pole. Hello, Lightning. Hello, Alex. Hello, uh, Samib. Or is it Sami BG Creative? <laughs> Hello, Moon Clouds. Hello, Ansdist. Hello, Magic. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, did my headphones die? Hello. Music. Why is my music not playing? Hold on. Sorry, guys. Hi. Hi. Okay. The plan for today. The plan for today. Um, I will be reacting to the MCC games. I've actually haven't seen them. Um, I've been so busy this morning. Um, I woke up relatively early and then, you know, I woke up relatively early and then I went out. I was like literally out from like... 10 to like just now i was outside running errands getting stuff so i just got back home so i didn't get the chance to see mcc or mcc games yet so i will be reacting to them um live on stream for the first time like ever <laughs> so yeah. yeah yeah and then after reacting i have a little game that i want to play um it just came out yesterday um I'll, I'll i'll tell you guys what it is after i react to um the mcc games um it's like a little fun game if you guys like unpacking then i think you guys will like this game um and then after playing this game it's either one i don't feel like playing anymore or two we finish the game um and if we still have time left um i'll do some art how does that sound yeah yeah that's the plan for today um, also sometime in between, I kind of want maybe, maybe around 2 p.m. ish EST, around an hour and a half from now, I'll post some art. I finished the art from yesterday. Um, I'm actually signing my name on it right now, which I guess I can switch the stream. Boom! Here, I finished this from yesterday. Just signing my name. Signing my name really quickly. Yes, 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 yes. Just like you, I can see it in your eyes. Okay. Um, here we go. Quickly saying my name on all of them. There we go. There we go. Ta-da! So, I'll be posting this at some point today, probably. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let me, let me pull up the games. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I did miss a G stream. Hello, lightning. Okay. Let's see. MCC. Okay, here we go. Um, click this, click this. 
Boom. I didn't miss the G stream, but I miss her. Hello, Ziggy. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> It'll be okay, Ziggy. It'll be okay. <laughs> it's pretty early for her, isn't it, right now? <laughs> bear pat, bear pat. Literally, this was literally me, IRL. You couldn't see my hand, but I was actually patting <laughs> I was patting the hair. Like, the air, right? <laughs> you guys didn't see me, but that's what I was doing. When I was like, there, there. I always do that. Anyways. Boom! Oh. Um, a little bit too big. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can stream. I can stream. Trust, 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 trust. Eh. There. There. And then I just make it bigger. Boom! 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 Here we go. MCC Games! Okay. This is my first time seeing these games, okay? My first time seeing these games. So we have um, Ace Race, we have Battle Box, Grid Runners, To Get to the Other Side, um, Parkour Tag, oh, Parkour Tag, Sands of Time, Hole in the Wall, Meltdown, and Build Mart. Wait, this is kind of interesting. So, it's like... Did they, like, is, like, Parkour Warrior and Parkour Tag going to be switched out every other game? <laughs> because where's, uh, Parkour Tag has only been, like, Parkour Warrior has only been played once. Sands of Time is back. Who knows if it'll be played. Is that a new map for Parkour Tag? I think so. Is it? Is this new? I don't know. Um... I already see, like, the, the honeycomb <laughs> to get to the other side. Like, bro, I, I'm getting flashbacks. Um, I understand why. I, like, understand the frustration for this map, and I understand Tina after playing this on MCCI. I understand. It's so frustrating. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, Hole in the Wall. Wait, Hole in the Wall is back to the original map, right? The original map where, like, it expands from the middle. Meltdown's the, the norm. Build Mart. Why does this Build Mart image look different? Why does this Build Mart map look different? Ace Race is Turtle Run again. Battle Box. Um, it looks like the Battleship one, right? They changed the Buildmar map. I'm not sure it ever got played. I mean, they benched Buildmart. Um, they benched Buildmart for two MCCs, I think. Bow heavy. Oh, is that one? Oh, <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. They benched Buildmart twice. They benched Buildmart twice. I don't. Know. Do you think it changed? This does not look anything different. <laughs> okay. The change um, was made many MCCs ago, but Buildmore only got played with the remix, then got benched. Yeah. But Buildmore was also benched, like, twice. Right? I'm pretty sure Buildmore got benched twice. What funny two colors they have right here. Um, yeah. I hope Sansa Time gets played. I really do. <laughs> I I really hope that Sansa Time gets played. It's been so long. It's been 83 years since Sands of Time came home. <laughs> I don't know. I know Ace Race surely gets played. Um... I don't know. I feel like this column right here, one of these games is going to get skipped. Surely. I think. Well, maybe Parkour Tag. I don't know. Oh, I wish Parkour Warrior was in here. It's only been played once. They only like tried it out once. I think a lot of people liked it, but <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they should play it some more. Please. 
Maybe, maybe they think it's too... Wait, okay. I have to take into consideration that this is underdogs. Okay. It's underdogs, and there's a lot of people who don't play Minecraft like that. So I... Okay, I guess I understand why. Wait. Okay. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, this is interesting. Because, like, we have teams of full, completely new members. And if they play Sands of Time... <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Okay, wait. I, I have to... Okay. Guys, I feel like this is interesting taking into account people who have never played Minecraft like this. <laughs> MCC, woo! Gotta run to my English class. Gotta be lurking. No worries, Ansys. No worries. Good looking class. Um... Like... I, we have to take into consideration of the teams that has never played Minecraft before. So I feel like, um, Ace Race, I feel like Ace Race is going to, ha people who've played, like, this map before has a big advantage for Turtle Run. And I think that's the same thing for um probably to get to the other side probably holding the wall and especially sands of time we have like several teams that is like very new members heavy um and so sands of time might be a struggle for them they might not know the strats unless they do vod reviews which is i don't know if they will you know it would be so funny <laughs> it would be it would be the best thing to do while studying is watch your stream. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Hmm. What's top middle? The sub goal is blocking it. Top middle is um battle box. Battle box. This is the battleship battle box, which is very bow heavy, apparently. <sighs> yeah. I have to study geography. Ooh. Axel! Axel! Hello! Meow, meow. Hmm. I want to see what maps they have for to get to the other side. Because they're showing the honeycomb one. You know, this is so messed up of them. Not screw. This is so messed up of you. To include this below the map for a bunch of new people. <laughs> for a bunch of new people to play. That's so messed up. <laughs> Do you know how messed up this is? <laughs> the teams that are purely new people better have a coach. Ugh, I doubt it. I still think about how Abe got married yesterday and now he just needs to practice for MCC. <laughs> Abe got married yesterday and then he's going to play MCC the following weekend like can you just think about that <laughs> um there's no rocket spleef rush and no no SB or SG survival games was SB sky battle like like why sky <laughs> Abe said F a honeymoon, real. Yeah. Um Yeah, which I, I guess I understand. Rocket Spleef Rush, like using an Elytra is not something what regular Minecrafters would normally like do or like non non Minecrafty Minecrafter. Uh, do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? It's like people who don't play Minecraft as often don't really use Elytras. Um, and they're probably not too, um, I don't know, PvP heavy. So I understand removing s survival, because, like, because if survival games is in, there's going to be a lot of targeting, I guess. And if Sky Battle is in, same, same situation. It's a good game? Yeah. But, but it's still messed up of them to include this honeycomb for to get to the other side. Um... Also, if they end up playing Sands of Time, that would be really funny. That would be really funny. I'm expecting a lot of locked players if they 
play this the time. I'm expecting a lot of locked players. I feel like Grid Runners is a good game for new players. Um, Battle Box. If if the new teams do their research, um, and if they rush middle, like rush wool, then maybe, maybe, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's so mean. Like what you're thinking? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Honeycomb is just oh. <laughs> It's so mean. It's so mean. But it's so funny. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to watch it. Oh my god. I want to watch Toast's team so badly. Because, like, I want to see how well they do. Because if you guys don't remember Toast, Toast's team. Oh, whoops. Where is it? Toast. This guy's Toast. This team. This guy's Toast, Box Box, um, John, and Timmy. They're all gamers. They, like, all are like cracked at playing video games but um is it a saturday yes they're like all cracked at playing video games it's just that they've never been in a minecraft competition if you don't count the twitch rivals portion because <laughs> if we do then timmy kind of with myth kind of like you know stole the minecraft portion away from the actual minecrafters <laughs> <I'm bros. laughs> but yeah i'm excited i want to watch this team so badly i decided to watch this i feel like he's gonna pop off yeah i feel like i feel like they'll do well they'll they will do well um but it's interesting to see especially because they don't play minecraft the way that mcc is run minecraft is so different than valorant and stuff like that i want to see how well they do with like um meltdown because meltdown is similar to fps with the fact that you're shooting people <laughs> you know um so i'm interested in that i'm very interested in that because i know um john plays a lot of um valorant i know timmy plays valo but also plays um apex um, I don't really know what Toast plays these days. I saw that he was playing, um, Hearthstone the other day. Oopsie. Oh, that's a throwback. If they don't get taken out too soon, that's true. If they don't get lost, <laughs> like, if they get lost, then that's a problem. Because I feel like for teams like this, and they go in blind, like, they're like, oh, let's wing it. They might, they might struggle a little bit, you know what I mean? Imagine if they win... That would be kind of crazy. That would be kind of crazy. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, what else? Let's see. Man. Parkour tag would be interesting. <laughs> Hole in the wall. Okay. What games are pretty new members friendly? I feel like Meltdown is good for that team, but I don't know for other teams. Hole in the wall is new members friendly. Um, to get to the side could be new members friendly, but like, you know, this is mean. Um, imagine if they have this and then they have that map where you have to like use like the, the, the thing to launch yourself backwards, you know, <laughs> that one's mean. That would be mean if they include that one too. Um, um what other one? Trident? Which one's the Trident one? Imagine if they, I imagine if they added, um, which one, um, Terra Swoop Force, <laughs> that'd be kind of epic. <laughs> Sully! Hello, Sully. Mm. What game do you think will be skipped? I think... I think these five, this like C portion right here, I think these five will be played. I have a feeling one of these four will be skipped. This part. I don't know though. This race is pretty easy if it's one of the shorter maps. Yeah, but it's Turtle Run. And it's um, four, four, um, four laps. 
Will Mars stands the time of Parker Tap, probably. Yeah, that's what I think. I think Grid Runner is most likely to get played, especially because I think Grid Runners is relatively new players friendly, depending on what rooms they. My guess is Sands or Buildmar. I would be so sad if Sands of Time gets skipped again. But like, I understand why, because it's it's a little bit difficult of a game to be played for like new new people. But imagine how funny it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how funny it would be. <laughs> it's not a new player friendly game. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like what games got skipped? What what games are benched? Sky Battle, Survival Games, Rocket Spleef Rush, Parkour Warrior. What other games are skipped? Is that the four games that are benched right now? If it would be skipped over Bill Mart, then I will be crying true. Yellow Yellow would want Sands of Time. Who's yellow again? Hole in the Wall, Ace Race, Battle Box, and Parker Tag are most newcomer friendly at least. They're easy to understand. Yeah. Yellow. Yellow? Would want Sands of Time? Really? They would want Sands of Time? Interesting. I know they don't want Sands of Time. <laughs> um... I don't know. I feel like a lot of teams are not PvP heavy. Like, they don't, you know. I think a lot of teams are either movement, communication. I don't know. I think all teams can do pretty okay with PvP. Maybe these people. If they, if they, like, get a little bit of coaching, I think they'll do, like, PvP. I think Foolish said he'd vote Sands of Time over Buildmart this event. How would you know if he... Wait. How, how would he know if Sands of Time was being played? Games don't get announced until today. <laughs> how would he know? Guys, I'm I'm just gonna say I missed two foolish streams, and that makes me very sad. <laughs> I missed two Hell's Kitchen episodes. Okay. Hmm. Hold on, guys. We're taking a mini break from from this to react to this. Where is it? Yes! 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 <laughs> Carl! Okay, well, wait, let me play the one from yesterday. If you guys don't know the one from yesterday. Um, Foolish. Oh, cute. Foolish. Um, here we go. Foolish got his role. Um, be a little ice cream cone. Foolish got his role yesterday. I love the little ice cream cone guy. I want to know more about that. Oh, this makes me so happy. I could be a little ice cream man. I I could voice it. I can do like. What are you talking about? Like. I could be a little ice cream man. I'm so happy! I kind of want to draw Foolish as Pistachio. <laughs> That's epic. That's so epic. Anyways, um, Carl's got announced. Wait, where is it? Here it is. Carl's just got announced like an hour ago. Um, I didn't see it. So. I part of the Harvest Kingdom. Nah, I or no, the wizard. Like the, the wizard people. Right? Deep. <laughs> 
in the dark, dark woods. And there was one wizard who would save them all. Uh, who's saying this? Why does that sound like foolish? Oh! New faces! Carl! <laughs> My name is Jan, but everyone around here calls me Rainboy Color. Hey, you don't play the flute by any chance, do you? Sweet as pop soda. No! No, he's doing that voice! <laughs> no, he's doing that voice! <laughs> part of the harvest. Oh my god, this is both the best and the worst thing ever. Oh, no! no. The wizard, like the, the <laughs> no! <laughs> right? Dark, dark woods. Why does this sound like foolish? One wizard who would save them all. He's so cute. New faces. New faces. <laughs> My name is Yon, but everyone around here calls me Rainbow Rain Color. Hey, <laughs> oh God, he's using that voice. There's no shot. Sweet as pop soda. Sweet as pop soda. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I already, <laughs> I already hate it so much. You guys don't understand. <laughs> Sweet as pop soda. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. He better also has a song. He better. They all sing, don't they? <clears throat> Okay, one second, guys. I'm gonna I'm pro I'm gonna loop this while while I go get something for my mother. I have to take stuff out of the freezer. You know how to be defrosting chicken or whatever. Okay, I'll be right back. I want to be a part of the Harvest Kingdom. Nah, or no, the, the wizard, kingdom. like the the wizard people. Right? Deep in the dark, dark woods. And there was one wizard who would save them all. New faces! My name is Jan, but everyone around here calls me Rainboy Color. Hey, you don't play the flute by any chance, do you? Sweet as pop soda. Part of the Harvest Kingdom, nah, or no, the, the wizard, kingdom. like the the wizard people, right? Deep in the dark, dark woods, and there was one wizard who would save them all. New faces. <laughs> My name is Jan, but everyone around here calls me Rainboy Color. Good morning, Steph. Good morning. Sweet as I don't know. There's some guy who was here earlier that was looking for you, I think. <laughs> Good morning, Steph. Sweet as pop soda. Bring me my sprinkles. <laughs> Oh god. Ah! Oh, I'm so excited for this. I actually I actually want to play this game so badly. <laughs> My name is <laughs> Everyone around me calls me Rainbow. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> Everyone's having a good day. Hope you're having a good day too, Steph. <clears throat> Roo, 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 roo. Carl is rainbow confirmed, please. Pat, 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 pat. Guys, imagine if I speak in that voice again. You know, like I had this like era. I haven't done it in a while. I had this era where like I would talk in like an anime protagonist voice, like Carl does. You know, you guys remember that era? I had that era, and then like every other second I would go like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um. I haven't done it in a while. I did it yesterday on Kara's stream because I know. <laughs> I did because it was not too long ago. Yeah, true, real. God, guys, I want to draw these two characters. I think that would be super, super cute. Anyways.
Back to the games. Get him on Geo Saturday. Get Carl on Geo Saturday. That's so funny. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Do you know who I want to see on Geo Saturday? Sylvie. Why has Sylvie not been in Geo Saturday yet? Hmm? Hmm? Rainbow needs to do um a space <laughs> a space tourney where it's both Mars and the moon, right? And get Sylvie on there. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Beat Rainbow in space. Real. Actually real. <laughs> Come on. Where is that? <laughs> where is that tourney? <laughs> I want to see Wilbur in Geo Saturday. Wilbur hasn't played GeoGuessr in a while, has he? That'd be kind of epic. Throw in the Minecrafters, why not? <laughs> we get Wilbur. Um, throw in George, you know. <gasps> Jolotris! <laughs> Hello, Jolotris. Maybe a content creator showdown with some pros sometime soon? Maybe. Maybe. I would love to see that. Just, like, grab a little bit of everyone. You know what? If if Toast wants to be in it, throw him in there. <laughs> Already has some connections with Tina, right? Real? <laughs> <clears throat> Meow. Wait, the game releases today? What game? <clears throat> Wait, the game releases today? This one? Wait, really? <laughs> today? <laughs> oh, wait, is it? Oh, <gasps> wait, really? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Coming out soon on Steam. Click. I hope I don't dox myself by clicking on this. Let's grab the diamond and get out. It's simple, elegant, humble, and genius. Uh, right. uh, Start the wait, show. how do I go back? Oh, oh, how do I go back? Um, oh, oh, let's go. All right, all right, I so figured it out. Let's go over the plan again. Start a theater. I'm looking for someone. Ziggy, I think you just missed them. <laughs> Someone was looking for you too, I think. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, they're still here. That's quite unfortunate. It's like it's like one of those like um 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 what is it? <laughs> what what is that called? It's like those like um I don't know, like storylines where like people just like just missed each other, you know, in like shows and stuff. Man. And then, like, fate brings them together because, like, one person, like, leaves and then the other person comes over. And they're like, oh, did they just leave? And then, like, the person, like, just, like, turns around. They're like, oh, I forgot something. And then, like, their paths, like, intertwine again, you know. Okay. I'll just, I'll just stop now. Peter <laughs> show, be the best, get invited to the palace, grab the diamond, and get out. It's simple, elegant, humble, and genius. He's right. Let's start the show. Once upon a jester. Fight me, mm, Prince. Mm, 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 I will take mm. everything you have. This looks so fun. Your music is music to my ears. That's me. Ah, I can play the guitar. Gee, are you looking forward to draw Debre? I don't- uh, Okay, Delotris, I'll be 1000% honest with you, I'm lost. I- <laughs> Every single time, like, I'll get started on the art. I just, like, I just stare at Debre's profile pic for, like, five whole minutes, and I'm like, I do not know where to go from here. <laughs> I just sit here, and I'm like, oh, wow. Just draw him as rain vaults and oh my god. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Shark boy? <laughs> 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 uh, 
Do you know, like, this great idea? Half shark. This this great idea that Kara told me. Because I called the mentor Shark Boy. And then Kara's all like, just draw Debre as Lava Girl. And <laughs> Rainbolt can be the main character. <laughs> Guys, this is real. This is real right here. Um, this, this, this is how I'm gonna draw them. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna draw them. Shark boy and lava girl in 3D. Wait, this show? What? It came out in 2005. Jesus Christ. Here we go. This is them. This is this. This is literally them. This is the mentor. This is Deborah. <laughs> this is Rainbow. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna draw them. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is epic. This is epic. <laughs> Why does it kind of look like Rain too? What? <laughs> this is epic. I would. I would do this, wouldn't I? That's <laughs> so good. So, who knows? <laughs> Debra's gonna be half shark. Imagine. Imagine. Hi, I'm late. No, you're not. You're not late unless I'm ending. Oh, I ate all of my avocados. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> nice one, Crystal. Nice one. Anyways. When is this game going out? <laughs> Warning! May contain considerable amounts of silliness. Hmm... Best friends of Sock and Jester devise a mischievous, mischievous, mis mischievous scheme to steal the royal diamond. To complete their master plan, they must start an improv theater show and outperform every other act, including their rivals, Hofnar and Bach. <laughs> Only becoming the best show in the kingdom will get th them invited to the royal theatrical. The, the theatrical spectacle in the royal palace, where the king keeps his precious gem. They embark on a grand adventure across a fantasy kingdom, meeting tons of wacky characters perform, performing improvised shows and singing their hearts out. Along the way, they unintentionally discover the freedom and joy of musical theater. Will the pair change their wicked ways or do whatever it takes to get rich? Oh, ooh, ooh. Is it out already? Because it says I can buy it. Release date, that's today. That's today! That's today! <laughs> Never made a purchase faster in my life. <laughs> Guys, should we play this? Should we play this? <laughs> mm -hmm. They didn't give a time just soon. Like, this is all they said. They literally posted this today. Oops, wrong tab. Right here. Wishlist here. Coming out soon. Is that not... Is that not today? Beat Carl to the game play? <laughs> I had another game planned, though. This is kind of epic. Give it two years. This is so cute. I freaking love church's art. This is epic. Look! Look how cute! Uh, oh my god. <laughs> so cute! Pistachios. I've never had pistachio ice cream. Can I just have? I've always wanted to, but I never had. This is so cute. There soon isn't dreams soon. There soon is like... Is like... 
they say soon, even though it happened already. That that's their soon. <laughs> um, uh, Selena, thank you so much for the follow. Mister Pizza Folder, thank you for so much for the follow as well. <clears throat> okay, here I'll strike you a deal, because I want I have this other game that I wanted to play, um, but <clears throat> if we reach the sub goal today, I'll I'll play it immediately. I'll buy it and play it as immediately. Yeah. It's only on Windows. Good thing I have a Windows. Yeah. Does that sound good to you guys? Is that a deal? Is that a deal? Do we have a deal? Yes? Okay. The Love Tan. Thank you so much for the fall. Okay. Anyways. Are we done discussing this? I'm interested on what this map is. It looks interesting. Does that mean we get lead guitar clips? Yes. I just need a I need to find it. I sent it to like care like months ago, so I'll most likely. It's like no no visual. So I just need to play the audio anyway. Let me find it. Oh, I found it. Oh my god. I'm so epic. Okay, well, I have it. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. It was from years ago, okay? You gotta leave me alone. Um, anyways. Yeah, is it gaming time? Is it gaming time? I've, I haven't opened this game. I just installed it. Yeah? Wanna play a game? It's gaming time. Okay, I'm gonna open it. I hope it's not loud. I hope it's not loud. Please don't be loud. Please don't be loud. Please don't be loud. Please don't be loud. Please. Please. Oh my god. Ah! 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 Oh my god. It's so loud for me. Oh! Ah! This, 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 this. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> I just said it. Why is it still so loud? I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. I move this over here. I have to move chat over. Was it loud? Or was it just loud for me? That would be kind of messed up if it was only loud for me. Um, can I make it smaller? Okay, this is good, right? I like playing my games windowed. Is that weird? It's like, I don't like them full screen, like, at all. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'll put the music just a little bit. Here we go. <clears throat> this music level should be good, right? Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I found this game on TikTok. Um, so, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let me close this. Boom. I found this game on TikTok. Here we go. Controls. Okay. <clears throat> I actually don't know how to play this game. Um, this game is called A Little to the Left. Um, if you guys don't know what this game is, it's basically, um... Like an organization game. We put stuff together, you know? And, um, it's like you organize things, and then every once in a while, this cat will come and bother you. <laughs> I 
I've seen this one. Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. And it just got released yesterday, like the full game. So this is what I've been this is what I wanted to play. So um let me close the song to song name. There we go. And let me tweet out that I am gaming now. Gaming now. Ali. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, tweeted. Okay. Thank you so much, Crystal. Yeah, so I think this is fun. Uh, let me know if the audio levels is oh, okay. So. Daily tidy. What does that mean? Wait, I'm going to show you the controls. Quick select right. Quick select left. Move, grab, grab, move. I am probably going to use my mouse for everything. Okay. What is this? Next tidy delivery in 11 hours. What is this? I'm allergic to that. I don't think I'm supposed to do this. Oh, what is this? Oh, what do I do? <laughs> Guys, I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to play this yet. Okay, let's exit. Let's just do our actual game. Yeah? Does that sound good? I think this game is really, really nice. You guys can help me out too, because I'm... I'm not really good at figuring things out. Chapter 1. Home sweet home. Oh, look how cute! Uh, it's a little cat. Straighten it up. There we go. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this game too. It's like... You get to organize it however you want to. <clears throat> but it's really cute. It's basically you clean up and like put your things away, you know? It's um... It's similar to unpacking in the way that, um, that, it's similar to unpacking in the way that you put away stuff. <laughs> you, like, organize your things and it tells kind of like a story, you know? I don't know. I feel like this is a nice, chill, relaxing game. Hi? Hello? <clears throat> yeah, I saw this on TikTok and I was like, oh my goodness. Um... <clears throat> is this what I'm supposed to do? Or... <clears throat> Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh. Nice. It's so satisfying. I feel at peace when I play this game. <laughs> Sorry. god <laughs> oh i love the sound it's so cute <laughs> i 
<laughs> it's so people cute, right? Oh, it was hiding. It was hiding. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> um, the love tan. Thank you so much for the follow and that cool MF. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Um. These two go together. Surely. Um. Probably goes over there. This goes. Okay. <clears throat> that one goes in there. Um let's see. Oh here. No. There. <clears throat> nice. Isn't this game so cute? Oh my god. I remember I was playing the demo and I actually rage quit because I couldn't figure out what to do. <laughs> it's so comfy. Yeah. Um... That is so you. <laughs> I feel like sometimes we just need some of these these types of games in life, you know? Just to chill. Just to relax. <clears throat> oh my god! That cat calendar is so cute. Okay. Is there... Is there a pattern to this? Um... <clears throat> Space... Star flower. Okay. Surely. Oh. Oh. Oh wait, that's nice. Um, space. This one. The sounds, it's so nice. Also, a little sticker animation. It's so good! It makes me so happy. Space. Swirly. Uh, this one. Surely. Space. Star. Sticker. Space. And then space. Um, space swirly. There. This one goes at the top. <clears throat> oh, that was nice. Like the sticker animations, like you have to peel it too.
What do I do here? Is it in height order? Hello, Megan. Hello, Megan. Hmm. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what do I do? Oh my goodness. Um, surely that's it. Hey yo, hello, a breadboard. Hello. Surely that doesn't count. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. go perfectly together yeah love your arts thank you so much thank you um guys i'm gonna run the hour one ads if that's okay um ads are a free way to support me so if you guys would like i'll run the hour one ads um yes uh, they're very short and once if you get ads let me know what ads you guys get okay i shall be right back well i'm gonna be sitting here but couldn't run ads what? what do you mean I can't run ads? What do you mean? Surely it happens if I do it now. Okay. Oh, there we go. Ads has been ran. No ads, yep. 
little om nom nom break. <sighs> Bro, there's just something about Vietnamese coffee that just hits different. You know what I mean? It tastes so yummy. <laughs> no ads? I played ads. Did it not go through? It's still running. Maybe, maybe you got lucky. You're the chosen ones. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder what the stars mean. Oh my god. This part in the demo, I almost rage quitted. <laughs> You guys don't understand. It took me literally too long <laughs> to figure this out. <laughs> it's actually kind of embarrassing. I kept stacking these together. I was like so confused. I didn't realize I had to organize them like this. Chosen ones. Xbox Game Pass, Buffalo Wild Wings, B dubs. Um. Um. supposed to do here one is supposed to be first? Which one of these two? Oh. 
Nice. Uh-huh. Matching color transition. Um, I don't know what I did there, but I just kind of leveled up all of the lines. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh god. Oh. Oh god, what is this? Ah! Oh god! That was a jump scare! Bro! I played this game because it was relaxing! I didn't expect a jump scare! What am I doing here? Guys, I don't know what I did there. I just... I was just clicking on buttons. I don't know what I was doing. It's a kitty. Meow. We just brought the kitty home too. Tomatoes! Yum. Okay. Can I just say, the art in here is just so... so nice. The art is just so nice. It makes me so happy. Oisha. The sound design is so lovely, too. Bowls. Oh no, they're cracked! I'm like speed running this, guys. This one hurts my ears. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, oh, um, um. It's like this. 
and then this one's like this. That was kind of satisfying. Bro, I actually do this with my- with egg cartons, like, in real life, you know? Like, I always make it so it's even on both sides or something. <laughs> Alright, do you guys do that? Hello. Hello, just here to watch. Hello. Am I supposed to put this anywhere? Is it signs? Or... My dad is listening to Christmas songs. We were listening to Christmas songs yesterday, but then someone didn't like it. <laughs> Guys, what do I do with this one? Do I stack them? Oh, I do. Oh. Do I... Hello? Where do I go after this? Um... Um... Is this small pink? It's a puzzle? Is it a puzzle? Hold on, my headphones died. Oh, okay, it is a puzzle. Hello, welcome in, Fanboo. Uh, not that. I'm not very good at puzzles, guys. Where does the rest go? <laughs> Where does the rest go? This doesn't fit. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm so confused. Green next to pink, does it? Oh. Wait. You guys are geniuses. Did they all go in together? Oh wait, they go side by side, right? These are all... Surely... Wait, that's kind of cute. Is 
This is one that's like very popular on TikTok. This slide right here. Peeling the peeling the stickies off. Oh. Hooray! Oh, what? Hello? Um... Why are you going away? Macaroni. Yum. Oh. Oh, these cups are so cute. Uh. Oh my god, look how cute. Uh. <laughs> um. I don't know what I'm supposed to. <laughs> what? Nanda. This gave me a good idea. Let's go. I just heard the noise. Yeah, that's so weird. I just heard the noise. The fisherman, yeah. Hi, hello! Hello, everybody. What are you trying to do? I have no idea. I just got an email. What are we trying to do? Uh, guys, I don't know. <laughs> what do I do here? Is that part of the song? I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Probably line something up. Maybe. But how do I. What do I line up? <laughs> Have seagulls in it? I don't know. Is there. Is there one with a seagull on it? All I see are the birds in the sky. The fishing line? What about the fishing line?
Yeah. I lined up this seagull. See? Do you see the seagull back here? I lined these up and it gave it to me. And this one, I lined up this these two seagulls and it gave it to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna figure out what to line up here. What is this? It's the fisherman. <laughs> oh, that was just so obscure. <laughs> Um, excuse me. Hey, whoa, no, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> that cat. <laughs> I'm head empty right now, no worries. I'll use my brain for you guys. Oh. The cat. The cat's going crazy. The cat's going crazy. These noises make me uncomfy. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is like... Oh god. Um... What do I? Whoa! It's like one of those like games that they do advertisement for in like Instagram stories. Where do I put the... Hello? This game is so pretty, it is! It's very nice. Guys, what do I do here? Moondust Pixie, thank you so much for the follow! Thank you! Ow. Welcome in! Ugh. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to follow! A journey story puzzle? Maybe. Do I go home? Welcome home. 
Or is it here? Welcome home. Gotta go to sleep. Have a nice rest of your day. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest. Um. Hmm. Does the water connect? I have no idea. I followed so many streams I watched. Oh my goodness. Welcome in. Wait, these connect, right? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Um. Um. Put the greetings card on the right of the stay away card. The greetings card. Where's the right? Here or here? Oh, they have like mini animations, which is pretty epic. I'm so confused. doesn't look right. <laughs> you put it on the left, but it might work out. Oh. I'm so confused. What do I do, guys? What do I do? Because these two seem to connect. But then... I don't know where the rest would go. Greetings on top of Penco Park because of the water. Yeah. So we have these. So we have these. And then we have these. Which I don't know where it would go. This would kind of make sense, I guess. I don't know if this makes sense or it's this 
and then... Oh, I'm so confused. Oh god, we're stuck. I don't know, it's the water you have to match. Maybe bottom of home on stay a while to the left. Bottom of home. Stay a while to the left. This part. Bottom of home on home with adventures awaits. This, uh, like this, and then like this. Let's go. This. Wah! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> My brain is too small for this. We did it! Teamwork! We did it! Hooray! Hooray! This one's fun. This one is fun. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Is this height order? Is it like what am I doing here? Um, oh God. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, at some point, I'm gonna rage quit because my brain is just too small. Or did I not do it? What are you looking for me? 
What are you looking for from me? This one makes sense. Right? These two line up with these two. Right? What am I missing? I do have to remember this is not just a relaxing game, this is also a puzzle game and that I do need to use my brain. Is a yellow one on the far left? This one? Oh yeah. This one's so fun. Hmm. Hmm. Because these line up, right? I think these three are next to each other for sure. Like this. Blend colors. Hmm. I just don't know where this one goes. Because I'm sure the other ones are in the right place, right? Move the jar with white liquid next to the milk crate. Like on this side? Over like over here? This is what you're saying? Huh? Oh, nice. Oh no, another one of these. <laughs> Common cat behavior. This is so funny.
nitty gritty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Surely this is like a puzzle, right? Where they have to fit together. Sponge. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's kind of epic. This one should go here. This one? Or is it this one? Okay, there we go. Um this one goes next to this one. Surely. This one goes next to this one. Um Where's the spongy go? I don't know if it's there. It goes over here. So this one, I think, goes at the end. Like this. And then, um, right? Or this one fits with this one. Maybe this one, like this. The bucket with glove next to the far left bottle. Between the bottles facing each other. <laughs> oh, nice! Batteries. Batteries. Watching this while doing homework is very relaxing. Yeah. I'm glad you feel relaxed. <laughs> Un unlike me. <laughs> Thank you. 
this a circle? <laughs> or is that just how many sides there are? Is this the order? <laughs> Biggest to smallest, maybe. I'm doing smallest to biggest, sorry. <laughs> nice. I wonder if there's different, like, different options and different answers. I was about to be like, why is there only one chopstick? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm back, the game looks cozy. Um... <laughs> it's the game, that's for sure. I like it though, I do like it though. I just feel like I'm too small-brained for this. It is a cozy game. Cats organize neatly as well. I see.
I need to throw. Oh, I need to start from the beginning. I need everything off. Everything off. Okay. Here we go. Surely this goes here. Hello, hunty. I'm a gamer today. I'm a gamer today. We're gaming. That was satisfying. Oh god. Just end it there. Okay. These two are the biggest ones. That's not it, is it? 
This is a puzzle game? Yeah. And I'm not very good at puzzle games. Ooh. Oh. I don't know what I did, but I did it. What's this? This is organized by color. Okay guys, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run the hour two ads. I'm gonna put my dishes away, if that's okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. But you can, you guys can chill, chill and listen to these sweet tunes, yeah? I'll be right back. Oops. Hello. Hello, bluegrass. Hello. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this one puzzle. I think everyone's back, right? 
I'm gonna do this one puzzle, and then I'm going to use the restroom. Hmm. Let's see. Um. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. We have these. Put all of these together. These kind of puzzles are my favorite. I like organizing things. Why is there a tooth here? <laughs> Bendy. Nails. Nails. We have these screws. We have more of these. We have these long ones. Surely this is where these belong. So we have three of these. We have these four. We have this thing. Um, we have a couple of these. Um, is this where this goes? No. No. <laughs> okay. Acorn. Acorn. Tooth. Surely. Huh. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> this is tooth shaped. Um. Let's see. Maybe this one goes here. Oh, maybe these go here. Alright. This one goes here. So that one fit there. Um, let's see. Surely these fit here. Let's see. I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick.
Hello, I'm back. Sorry. My dad is playing Christmas music in the room next to mine. It's really loud. Oh, my God. Okay. Sorry, guys. Was taking a little break, Ski. Also, why is my Wi-Fi glitching on my phone? Come on, now. Alright. Are you ready to keep playing? Are you guys down to keep playing? Row, row, row. Oopsie. Alright, hold on. Let me change something really quick. I'll add it to the um, sub goal. What is the game called? It's like uh, something Once Upon a Jester. Is that what it's called? Plus play Once Upon Upon Is up there. I'm committed. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's keep playing. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. Floss. Wait. I actually use this type of floss. Um. Let's see. What else can I put in there? Can I just? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this thing is to use to clean your contacts. That's pretty epic that they included this. Nail clippers. Um ring. Peepo sit. Peepo sit. Okay. Let's see. Um surely there's another one. Okay, there we go. Found it. Um okay. Seems to be. Uh, it seems to be eye drops. Oh wait, that's just a thing. Okay. Toothpaste. Okay. Surely. Here. Here. Oops. Sorry. There's another one of these. Can I not put this in here? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, we stack these. Surely. They're a particular way. Like this. Like this. Log loss. And log loss. Oh, that's satisfying. Do I put these in here? Can I take this out? Hello? Oh. <laughs> this just looks so silly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like I, um, I hear about you brushing your teeth more than any person I know IRL. Um, I, I'm pretty infamous for how long I take to brush teeth, yeah. Where do I... Where do I put this? Oh, okay. What, where do I put these? Do they not go inside this jar? Oh! What? I have to take off the lid? I mean, I guess that makes sense. 
Nice. I've never stacked my thing on top of my on top of my contact cleaner. Oh my god. Um okay. Oh my god. Uh okay, that makes sense, right? My headphones keep turning off. Okay. This is gonna be painful. Yeah, just a little. Okay. Okay, we'll figure this out. Surely. Wait, this is actually pretty epic. Okay. Um. <laughs> Guys, I think this is going to be... I'm going to lose my mind. This... This is the one that'll make me lose my mind. <laughs> oh wait, does this fit in between here? Okay. this even go like like there <laughs> would this work no how difficult this looks the brain cells i lose <laughs> i'm doing my homework while listening and i moved and saw you with the saw <laughs> it sounds nice though hatchet um okay uh okay I'm too small brained for this. I am too small brained for this. So let's go here. What? Is this how you hang up one of these? It's like, what if it's like, I hang this here. Oh, am I not allowed to put these two next to each other? Is is that the T? What are some of these tools? That is a good question. That is a good question. Um, I I don't know what I'm doing. 
Why can't these be next to each other? Is that just not allowed? Wait, this fits so nicely. There's one of these. What? I I think I'm doing this so wrong. I don't. I'm like so sure I'm doing this so wrong. Um. <laughs> Is there a right answer? <laughs> A tape? That's what I'm saying. Maybe like this. Um. Um. Okay. Where do I hang this? Oh god. Okay, what if this one goes here though? And then this one goes here. Oh. And then... This one goes here, this one goes inside here, and then this one goes here. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, I'm a genius. Oh my god. Wait, this reminds me, if you guys played like, um like Pokemon Pearl, Pearl, Diamond, or Platinum that like you rub, you clean your gym badges. Oh my gosh. Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> okay, mini break. I'm going to post art. I think I'm going to post art now. It's 2.30, so I think I'll post some art. Um... Meow. <laughs> it's like, I don't even type- Cause like, you know like on when- on the phone, you- you can- or like on, um, on what's it called? On, um, on like mobile or on the iPad, you can type like what- what emoji you want. I never type cat, I just type meow. <laughs> I type meow and all the cat emojis pop up. Hi Ziggy. Ziggy, can I just say whenever I see like the cat emojis that are like reaction, look like the smile or like the crying laugh face, I I like can only think of you. <laughs> I don't know why. I think you're like the main person I know who uses them. You should think of Steph. I think of Steph when I see meow. Oopsie. Like this this emoji in particular. Where is it? Um This one in particular. <laughs> I'm like, that is Ziggy. Okay, I'll play this one game and then I'll post art. <laughs> oh, there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> oh my god, that one, the cat face is so cute. Can I say that? Am I allowed to say that? Green. Green. Am I allowed to organize by color? Please. Oh, my main thing that I don't like is that I can't... I can't put this in the order that, like, I want to, you know? What is that? <laughs> okay. 
I like want to twist it and turn it the way that I want to, but I cannot. Wait, it's just white, blue, white, blue, green, 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 blue, red, white, 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 blue, red, red. That's black, not blue. Oh. Is it? Wait, am I supposed to organize this differently? I'm not an artist. <laughs> You're an artist in my heart, Ziggy. Oh, oh, oh God. Um, oh no. Oh no, okay, I these two need to be together. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Uh, this is not good for me. Um um Guys, I'm not good at these types of puzzles. Okay, what do I do with this? Um... Oh, it's so loud. Ugh! Oh. oh god, I'm too small-brained for this. Okay, where do I... I want... Where do I want this? Um... Might be the end of them? This might be the end of me. <laughs> okay, I want these two together. Surely these two I want together. And then I want th these two on top of this box. Okay. Oh. oh god. I want these two on top of this box. Um. Okay. One step at a time. I want these two. Surely, like this. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, I want these two together. Um, but I want this box to be here. Okay. Hi, I'm back. Hello. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something. <laughs> this way, this way. <clears throat> so I want this one here. Um... Okay. What am I doing? Oh god. Okay, wait, I want to move this one out. What are you supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to connect the arrows. So, like, for this one, um, because, like, this one would make sense if I move it right here, you know, but then I need to put something in here. Um, but I want this one over here, and then this one over here. Wait, this one's just one box. Okay, we'll figure this out, we'll figure this out. Um, I just need where I want everything.
I got this. Do I? Do I? With no pain to me? No worries. Here, I think maybe... Wait, if I click reset, does it just reset this level? Oh. Oopsie. Surely it's saved, right? Okay, nice. Okay. Um... I think these are fine. I think this one, I need to scooch this way, is what I want to do. Um, um, I want to move this one for sure. I just don't know where I want to move it. Okay. I think what I want to do... Oh god, I'm just like moving everything everywhere. I thought it would be this game. Yeah! It's all this on TikTok. Hello, Care Carousely. Welcome home! The one you want to move needs to be on top of the little box with the empty white arrow? Yeah. Do we want backseaters? Backseaters is fine. Pee pee hop. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. Because I'm too small brained for any of these things. I just don't know how to move things. Ugh. Chat is also small brain. No, I think chat is like bigger brain than I am. I want to move this one here. Ziggy, no! Ziggy, you deserve the world. I don't know what you're talking about. None of that here. No, 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 no. <gasps> Tested Sophie! Thank you so much for the raid. Hello! Welcome in, raiders! Welcome in! Hello, hello! <laughs> I hope you had a good stream! Um, what were you guys up to? What were you guys up to? But, hello, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is G, or KSD. I'm mainly an art streamer, but today we are, um, playing this game, this puzzle game, that I thought would be relaxing, but now my brain hurts. <laughs> my brain is a, my brain is a little, right now. Yes, that's very true. Ziggy, you deserve the world. You deserve the world. <laughs> yes, give Ziggy some KSD bear pats, please, if you have it. <laughs> I figured out a few, yeah? Hold on. I just, I don't know where to move anything. Okay. Because I want to move this one here. And I think I want to move this one here. Alright. This is what I want, right? Um... Um, I'm invested now. 
Surely I figure something out. Thank you so much for the hydrate. G said brute force time. Hey, that's that's how I solve a lot of my problems when it comes to these things. How did I get here? How did I get here? even savable please have a little faith in me i actually don't have any faith in myself surely i can i can do something <laughs> you can't make enough room to pick up the block i don't know man oh i don't know what we're trying to do i think we're trying to connect the arrows Right? Unless we're connecting the tape, then. Right? Guys, if I brute force my way through this enough, we'll figure it out. Surely. Surely. I don't even know what my end goal is anymore. make more sense <clears throat> I'm just like moving the same boxes around all over I wish I can carry more at a time okay what am I What's the goal now? What is the goal now? This is back at the beginning. Um, this is where I want this. And then this. This, I want this here. Um, so. Where, I wanna take this one out. This is not supposed to be here. But I don't know what to put here. This, I wanna put this here. Connecting the arrows, they run in a line from box to box, as in box A connects to. Stand by to say you are so right. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. What am I right for? <laughs> what am I right for? Maybe draw out a plan for where everything should be. Then it's easier to remember where you want everything. Yeah, I kind of know where I want everything to be. I think. I just don't know how to move things around. Got added one more hour because of this level? Real. Actually real. Okay. So. Because I want this one here. Actually, do I? This one makes sense. And then... 
Stop. Ah, I see what I'm right about now. It's true, though. Meek. <laughs> You deserve the world? That's true, that is true. I'm sorry, Ziggy, but you're wrong on this. <laughs> you deserve the world and I don't care what you say. Okay, fine, let's go. Um... What is going on? Should we just go with the tape instead, guys? Surely. What? Oh my goodness gracious, I'm gonna lose my mind. Drama, nah. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't actually know myself. Um, we'll figure it out though. Surely, right? Cause like, it's impossible to move this. Apparently. Apparently. WHAT THE HECK?! There's actually no way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way! Oh my god, wait. Oh my god. I freaking hate life. <laughs> Just watch me take like a thousand more years to figure out everything else. <laughs> oh my god, what am I even doing? <laughs> Okay, so now what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Where should I move everything? This one belongs here, right? Okay, so I want to move this one there. take this one at a time now um this isn't in the right place okay oh fine let's see these two need to be together right and this one goes on top of this one um but goes here. I'm gonna move some things temporarily. You want that there. You want this here. And we want this here. Surely. Okay. Oh wait, this is a little bit awkward. Uh Follow the arrows from the start. 
Why does my headphones keep turning off? You also have to match the colors. You're doing it? I'm trying. Um... This one here, right? I want, I want, I want this one here, this one there, this one here, and then this one here, but it won't fit. Wait, I need to scooch everything over, right? That's what I want, right? I want to scooch everything over this way, like this way, right? That's what I want, right? Oh god. Or should I- is it easier to scooch the other way? I went to say hello to my father. I had to scooch everything over. Don't change what you already have. Okay. Ugh, oh, okay. Um. Oh, this might be a little difficult. <laughs> this might be a little difficult. Uh Yeah. my god, guys, I am way too small-brained for this. <laughs> okay, we'll figure it out, we're figuring it out, we're figuring it out. What if I, like, started over? Would you guys be mad? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking about, like... <laughs> uh, that terrible, terrible thing that just happened. About when... Where... Where we found out that we had extra room, but I was just too small brain to notice it. What am I what am I trying to complete here? So I want move this box here. That's that's the goal, right? That's the goal. I miss him. Starting over will be a nightmare. But now that we know what we were trying to do, um, is it worth? I don't even remember how the beginning looked like. 
Who is him? <laughs> Sorry I moved you around so much, Mr. Kitty. <laughs> oh, that was so much for me. You did it! That was a pain, that was a pain. Kitty cat, no! What? Cat, wait, why did the flowers go all sad? No! <laughs> oh! That thing moved on its own. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Why does it sound like this? Wait, why does the vase sound like that? For a second, I thought the game was over. It might be a little bit before the game ends. dad is home okay clink, 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 clink. oh my god this is like a magic cloth or something like how how do you get stains out of out of the <laughs> out of the rug that fast ASD 36 dad smile. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> no! No, the poor leaves. Incoming emote? I don't even know how to. I need to make a vacuum emote though. You use that email at least once a week. I wish you let me organize this. It's corner ball there should be. Whoa! Bro! But hello? How do I win? Give me back! Give me back! Oh. 
How do I win? How do I win? Oh, what? <laughs> no, I don't understand. But I won, I won. Oh my god. Yes? What do I do? Oh. Oh. Whoa! Is this- what is this? Is this like a speed endurance? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I doing? Kitty noises are so fast. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. Guys, I don't think this is- <laughs> You're too slow?! <laughs> I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. Guys, I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Are you sure this is what I'm supposed to do? Guys, I- I'm not fast. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Go back, please. Huh. Let's go! I don't know what I did. <laughs> yeah, it's symmetrical. Sorry, I was like, reading it. Hooray! <clears throat> We're winning! We're winning! <clears throat> oh, wait, I never posted my art. Lumfow. Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just didn't post for like half an hour. I was like, I'll do one puzzle. <laughs> and that one puzzle was like the one that took me a thousand years. Oh, God. Sorry. Hold on. Let me, let me post some art. Ah, for go. Asadis. I saw you to everyone who's been waiting. <clears throat> Done. Um, oh my God, I am a caption genius. <laughs> um, I'm gonna run the, if it's okay, I'll run the hour three ads really quickly. Um, the hour three ads, and then. You know, we'll continue. Yeah, I'm posting art right now, so you're not going to miss much. Boom.
You guys like my caption? I took me. I used so many brain cells to come up with it. <clears throat> there. Posted! It's always a speedrun to be the first like on GR during stream, and I never get it. I'm sorry, Lightning. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's just some people i like it's actually like amazing to me it's like it, it would be i love how the the stream tile was a cat and her human in a tweet a guy and his cat yeah <laughs> the bottom bar is giving me hyundai hyundai ads from the actual ads you start what is this car at hellscape that's so funny ah <sighs> what am i doing I don't actually know what I'm doing. I charge my phone, actually. Okay. Anyways. What's the goal here? Um. Nice. Oh, frick. I forgot to put it under my thingy. Ugh. Ugh. I'm so absorbed into playing this game that I just forget. Here we go. Change who can reply to only me. Okay. Paste. And then I'll do the cat face. Cat face. Tweet. And then let me like every reply. to organizing. Oh my goodness gracious, what is this? I'm allergic to this. <laughs> Look guys, heart hands. <laughs> heart hands, heart hands. <laughs> heart hands, heart hands. What do I what am I doing here? What is the goal here? Am I supposed to pair them up? Wait, not all of these can be turned into pairs. Oh god. What is the goal here? Here's all these frick. Here's all these pairs. 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 Am I supposed to pair them? Pairs. These are pairs. These are pairs. I don't think these counts as pairs. But this one's so lonely. This one's also lonely. What am I doing? <laughs> what is the goal here? Oh my god, guys. I use too much of my brain. <laughs> I use too much of my brain. Hello, Willow. <clears throat> okay. 
Maybe some symmetry again? We can try that. These have to be in the middle for sure. Does it? <clears throat> Whoa. Cat. Cat, why? Why, cat? Um, was that helpful? I don't actually know. Was that helpful? nice was it just like anything it's just that cat will bother us Ooh. oh god please don't tell me this is symmetry again oh god okay Oh, jump scare. <laughs> okay, maybe I did something wrong. Okay, let me see. That was so scary. A time limit? Is that why? Or is it like... Oh goodness. Chocolate. Chocolate.
<laughs> what did I do wrong? Maybe it's like this. And then it's like this. This. No! Please let me move this! No! That bothers me! Oh my god, so true. Christmas is just around the corner. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, please don't tell me this is another cemetery thing. Oh. Oh. This is not what I wanted. I didn't sign up for this. Well, I guess I did sign up for this, but. <clears throat> See. There's two acorns. There's two pine cones. How would I organize this? Like this. What is the middle of the screen? Is this the middle of the screen? Does it automatically put stuff in the middle of the screen for me? Because if so, thank you greatly. There's two of these. Is this is our one of this. <clears throat> What's this? Kinda looks like a pig. That was what I was going for. <clears throat> oh, seven. Scrollers go in the corner. Very nice. <clears throat> oh, great. Oh, great. Just fantastic. Amazing. corner piece this is a corner piece this is a corner piece surely there's a blue corner piece right that's not it that's not it Guys, I don't know. I might be at my limit. Ah! Oh! Be real. Who wants to be in my be real? 
Um, he wants to be in my B-reel. Hello, headphones. Nobody, nobody looks at my B-reel except for like three people maximum. Okay. Giving you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Then I'm not even gonna bother with a the caption. There we go. Might be real. Go on. I actually missed several B reels. Okay, surely. Alright. What is this one? This one? This one. Um. This one. Um. And. go okay this i don't know <clears throat> it's interesting to me interesting choice there maybe this maybe is this it no Like one of those ads you know what i mean those ads that are like trying to fit these blocks together and then like it just never fits I think the blue one you placed on the left uh, goes to the one under the black corner. <clears throat> Which one? This one? Or is it this one? Is that what you meant? <clears throat> what is this? Oh god. If this is another cemetery one, I'm going to flip. I'm going to flip. I actually, I'm actually going to flip. <clears throat> Nicely done. Thank you.
Me game and hello Andy. Please. <clears throat> huh? Oh. Oh my god, is this just like that one Among Us game? Right? Oh, there's more! Oh my god, it's so forgiving. Hooray! It's vitamins! Vitamins time! Um, I don't know if I have enough water. I have to drink this water. I don't know where this water bottle came from. Hello, Lele! Can I have a mint? This is some D. Vitamin D, that is. <laughs> what am I trying to do here? This is so cruel! This is so cruel! Symmetrical. <laughs> I got out of school an hour ago. Let's go. What am I supposed to do here?
はあわあ<笑> !Jump scare <laughs> That's so sad! Why did you make me do that? Hello? <laughs> I wonder how many chapters there are. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 This way. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Okay. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, okay, that was close. This way. Then this way. This way. Right? This way. Oh. This way. This way. This way. On this way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. This way? Do I go this way? Ah! Ah! What? Oh. Wait, am I supposed to... What happens if I go this way? Can I go this way? Can I go like this? Like this. Oh. This. This? Then like this. Surely. Then like... Ah! That's not what... Okay. Where, where am I supposed to take this? Okay. This way. This way. This way. And this way. And this way. This way. This way. What if I go this way? Okay, what is the goal? Dun, 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 dun. Wait. I'm so confused. What am I supposed to go from here? Am I not doing this correctly? Oh. Oopsie. How did I get it over here? What? What if I go this way? Oh. Wait. This way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Whoa! Huh? <laughs> Wait! Where'd it go? This way, it becomes this, and then I hit it. Um, what is the goal? That is a good question. Nice! <laughs> I 
I guess. Turn back time. Whoa, oh, gotta hit rewind. And change the past that I know. Story will go. Only I see to this place in between, <laughs> and where I'll be. Turn back time. Whoa, oh, gotta hit rewind. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Stay with me. Uh oh, hit rewind. Forget this pain and regret. Learn from the tragedy, course of this history. I don't, I don't understand what I, I need to do. Responsibility. Gotta hit rewind. You stay with me. Line up the time with the shadows? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Thank you. Okay, no more music. <clears throat> Nice bluegrass. Nice one. This is teamwork. <laughs> happy birthday happy happy birthday happy birthday to huh wait the shadows don't line up what huh
That's epic. We can move the shadows. That's not an epic. What? What? Mine is next week. Happy early birthday. Um, what am I doing here? Guys, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just like hovering this. Interesting. Guys, I don't know anything about constellations. I'll have you know. cats how am I supposed to know where to put each of them uh which one am I missing hello 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 which one am I missing oh okay um Surely, there we go. Right, nice. Yeah, I just didn't understand <laughs> if there was like any logical way to do it. Oh, um, hello. A little French scuff.
Oke, okay, nice. Nice. Arson. Oh. Oh god. It's supposed to match the colors, but I messed up. I messed up. I'm trying to get it back to red. <laughs> How do I do it? How do I do it? Rah, 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 rah. Let's go to this one. Guys, I made a mistake. I accidentally put too many matches in the wrong places. This one, putting into green makes it yellow. Putting into orange makes it. Oh! Is this not right? Oh, and then do I put them all in here? I need to do something for my mother really quickly. I'll still be here though. So tilted. Oh, my God, I hate hexing. This is a jam.
Oh, this is making me so raw. Sorry guys, I'm popular. Hello! Um, I... Jumin? Hello, welcome in. Sorry, I'm fixing something for my mom. Yeah, it's complicated to say it. Yeah. I'm also not good at reading. I never learned how to read. What's the point? The point of what? This game? <laughs> Hello, Axel. Meow. I'm 20 years old and I never learned how to read. Hey, my name is, uh, what's his name? Jared? <laughs> I'm 19 and I never learned how to read. <laughs> yep, that's what I was doing. Forcing my friend to watch a stream with me. Oh my gosh. Hello, Boba Princess's friend. Alright. Let's see. Um... Huh? What is going on? Uh, 
What is happening? <laughs> Make them the same height. That's not what I wanted to do. How do I... Ah. Ah. Oh wait, am I supposed to like... Oops. Okay. This... I want... These two to grow. Right? What level am I trying to make this? This is supposed to go down. Surely. Oh, frick. Um, that's not what I wanted. I want to go down. So, this one. Right? Is this the goal? Surely, if I go one at a time, I don't mess this up. Oh, frick. Alright. Is this what I'm trying to do? They're the same height, aren't they? What are you supposed to do? That's a good question. That's what we're trying to figure out here. That's all I could think of. Are they like not even? goal is to make them all go out at the same time. this a candle it's a magic candle Ooh. oh that's not right Make them all the same height? We we kinda did that. Okay, make them all the same height. Alright. Um let's see. How would I? Let's all make them candles that have a tall stand all and the ones with the short stands short 
Um, which one would you consider short? Like these, these three are the tall ones, and then these are the short ones. What's the game called? Um, a little to the left. Bow, bow, ba, da, da, da. Unless we put them in height order. Like this is the shortest. so confused <laughs> yeah, it hurts just a little. I feel like it's making them all the same height straight across all wicks are level with each other. Ugh. Guys, I don't- I can't eyeball things. That's a lie. No, 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 no cheating. This should be a little bit more forgiving. <laughs> Is this not close enough? <laughs> Is this the left one tiny bit shorter? Which one? Surely this game is a little bit more forgiving. the tall one as short as possible then make that even this one aren't you tired of the game music yes but that's okay Huh? 
Huh? What did I- uh. Guys, I don't know what I did. <laughs> it, it just accepted it. But... <laughs> we take those! We take those! We definitely take those. Hold on, guys. My headphones died once again. Um. Okay. Nice. Um, okay. supposed to do <laughs> just turning everything on yes um that's my goal am i supposed to make something <laughs> wait guys did i run the hour four ads yet i'm gonna run the hour four ads hour four ads woo supposed to do something
by clicking the burbs. Hello! Okay. Wait, hold on. My headphones are gonna die. Okay. Hello. Um, I won't lie, guys. My brain is is hurting a little bit. Oh, make a heart shape. fan boo okay oh kitty cat hello meow meow oh what am I supposed to do I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dun 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 Oh my god! Ah! So cute! This is kind of trippy. Meow. 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 Uh. Why does the egg sound like this? Oh! This feels like a credit scene? It is. This is like a little recap of all the puzzles we've done. Dun, 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 
噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔。Five chapters and daily puzzles. Oish, uh. What am I supposed to do here, guys? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Flip it? How? How do I flip it? Oh, this one. Thank you. What's going on? I think we're doing the ending credits. Nice. Got homework to do? No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Oh my goodness. Hello? <laughs> oh my god. Why? <laughs> it's endless! Oh my goodness gracious. Why is it- why is it endless? Are the, this is like those lunch packing TikToks. <laughs> it's like, what's it called? It's like, pack my son's lunch with me. What is this? Crumbs? Do we pack these crumbs too? What? What do we need these crumbs for? 
What is happening? Is this how I pack it? <laughs> or is it like uh, tomatoes here and then it's like this? Why do you need this tiny of like... Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> what did I do? Did I lose the game? Did I lose the game? <laughs> POV, you're <laughs> my mom packing a really healthy lunch for school. No. No. What do I need? This. And then this. 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 And then this. And then this. <laughs> oh, guys, this is the one that made me lose my mind, wasn't it? Oh my god, oh my god, what is this? Like a platformer? Oh my god, Jesus. Jesus. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Come back! Okay, nice. This, surely. And then this. No? Okay. This. No, I had to connect. Maybe I had to connect colors? Where is it? Where is it? There. This Tetris, I know. It's crazy. Oh, wait. This one's too tall. This one? Oh my god. This one. Where is it? Please! Please! Oh my god. <laughs> Epic. This is too tall. This is too tall. This is too tall. What is going on? What is my... <laughs> what is my goal here? <laughs> this is so... The music's kind of scary. <laughs> is the music kind of scary for you guys? How much more do you need? How much more do you need? <gasps> no! Bro, I've had enough of this. <laughs> what? Surely, this is like an end game. Is this just like endless? <laughs> Do I just keep, keep going? <laughs> Ha! 
how much higher do I need to go? Guys, I'm actually confused. Do I just... Do I just keep going? How much higher do you want me to go? Please! I don't know what my goal is here! <laughs> do I just keep going? Is that the goal? Is that the goal? <laughs> I don't know what my goal is! Heaven? Oh my gosh, wait, we're at the stars. We're at the stars now. We're at the stars now. Okay, okay. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Space. We're in space. Okay. This is fine. Wait, we're done. Whoa. What is happening? Is this end game? Yay, we got so many unchief. Oh, we're the cat now. Yeah. Look guys, our cursor is like the cat ball now. This is a nice game. I was like losing my mind a little bit, <laughs> but hey. It's over. We finished. We finished. Oh, oh. We can mess around the names. Yes. It took us four hours. It took us a little bit less than four hours, actually. Because I think we spent around an hour. So around like three hours. I think it took us around three hours to finish. Because we took around an hour to react. Do some react Andy. And then I would say half an hour I spent doing something else. So I think around three to three and a half hours is how long it took us to play this game. That was fun! <laughs> that was fun. Look at all the little kitties and the doggos! So cute! That was fun. That was quite fun. Yeah, how did you guys like the game? How did you guys like the game? <laughs> we should do our daily. I like quit the daily. 
Um, because I was all like, I shouldn't be doing this one right now. Are you watching MCC this Friday, Saturday? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm probably going to watch Green Geckos and Toast's team. Probably. All these, all these little animals are just so cute. Hooray! Yay! Good game. Hello, Delena. The lane neck. <laughs> Meow. Near Earth Organizer. Just got that achievement. How are you? Pretty good. There we go. We did our story mode. We can do our daily now. There we go. Um, now we kind of know what to do with this one. This one? No. Oh my goodness gracious. Is this one? Was off. Is there anything off? This is symmetrical. I just hear click, click, click. Yep, that's the main goal of this. Move up the middle. Uh, duh. Hooray! Nice. Oh. No, I'm not doing this again. I am not doing this again. <laughs> Exit. Nice. Yeah. Oh. 365 days. I don't know I can if I can do this daily every single day. <laughs> Guys, that was fun. That was fun. That was epic. I hope you guys enjoyed that with me. Um 
That was certainly a game. Play, clap, 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 clap. Yeah. <sighs> Painful at times. Yeah, there was just a couple that was a little bit, a little bit frustrating, but otherwise, otherwise, I think it was fun. I think. It was pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. There we go. Hold on, guys. I'm fixing something really quickly. There. There we go. Let's play some music. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Playing some music. That was nice. Mm -mm. Okay. Good game. Good game. GG. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Just like you. See it in your eyes. With me tonight. Frick. Up the wall. All right. All right. You're a little bit just like me. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry. Void. <laughs> the void. Let's draw something, question mark. Oh. Guys, that game actually drained my brain. <laughs> Hello. See it in your eyes. Hold on, I'm connecting my iPad. One second, guys. A little bit off the wall. ADHD for me. I'm not feeling it's time to say you're a little bit just like me. Then surely I click this and go this. Boom! Screen is back. Okay. What shall we draw now? Changing my category to art. I think it's good to chill. We're chilling. To be just like you. Got to be just like you. I can see it in your eyes. Me tonight. Bit a little bit off the wall. Where's my song? Song name. Ooh, here we go. Boom. Feeling time to say. Patches, my beloved. Patches. Patches is a baby. That was fun. Do I want to play? Do I want to draw or do I want to play some games? What if I played some more games? <laughs> Me a kid with a cardboard face. Mm, an erase. Oh, yes. Yes, Crystal. Yes, yes, yes. I for gore. Crystal, what would you like on your quokka? What would you like on your quokka? Her bead eyelashes. Would you mind explaining the dream SMP lore? <laughs> the whole thing? Are, are, are you asking me to explain the, the whole SMP lore? Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Here. 
I'll... <laughs> Do you have a year? I'll, I'm going to explain it. There's videos on it. There is videos on it. it it's very, very long. Um, do you want me to explain it as generally as possible? <laughs> because that's the only quick way. I say it as generally as possible. <laughs> the diamonds in a scarf, of course. Is worse than Lord of the Rings with various storylines. There are there's so many storylines. It depends on like which which ones you want to focus on because like there's there's different arcs, there's different point of views, there's certain lore that only involves certain people, and then a bunch of them overlap on top of each other. Hear about something you'd like? Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh god. I I could attempt to explain the DSMP lore. Hold on, let me draw crystal really quickly. I'm in a girl Hard to explain. What can I do when I'm falling for you? Fallen name. Boy with a cardboard face. Little a pearl with a porcelain name. Easy to talk to and hard to explain. What do I do when they tell me it's true? <laughs> okay, here we go. Crystal, thank you so much for the 11 months. Woo, almost a year together. Oh my goodness, one whole year. Ah, almost 11 months, Crystal. Thank you so much for the 11 months. Thank you. Yahoo, woo, yeah, woo, yahoo. <laughs> okay, explaining the dream SMP lore. So shall we shall we start from the beginning? I guess this is appropriate to work on this guy, huh? Okay. Dream SMP lore. Day one. <laughs> I'm feeling sick, so I left school, but hey, at least I get to be here. Hey yo, I hope you feel better soon though. And this is what I arrived to. Yes, you arrived to me attempting to explain the dream SMP lore. Um Mm -mm. Roses are red, violets are blue. Thinking of you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You again. Mm -mm -mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I do. Okay. First, I retweet this. And then... Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Sit back. Sit back. I'm going to do my best um, with how much I know. I'm going to... A huge disclaimer from, from me right now is that a lot of this lore took place a year, like a year or over a year ago. Maybe two to three years ago. Is that how long since the DSMP started? So, um, a big disclaimer, I was not here since the beginning. Um, I started watching DSMP lore around the end of 2020. Um, 
so <laughs> I'm going to try my best. I will also preface to say that um, um, I will also preface to say that I haven't watched every single point of view, and <laughs> so <laughs> wait, let me change my title. There we go. I, I'll just go back to the just chatting category because I'm not actually making art right now. There we go. Two years. That's that's a long time. Yep. It started around April 2020. Is that is that right? April 2020. <laughs> I don't actually remember. Um. Actually, would you guys mind if I go grab some water? Because I feel like I'll get dehydrated. Um. <laughs> so. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water really quick. Okay? Sit back. And then I'm going to do my best to explain as much as possible. <laughs> right? Be right back. I'll be right back. Hello, I'm here. I'm here and I, I, <laughs> oh God, I hope you guys are ready. Why do I feel nervous? <laughs> Why do I feel nervous about trying to explain the DSP lore? <laughs> I, <laughs> why do you, I don't know. I already said my disclaimer. I don't know if anybody else joined while I left. I just got back from getting some water. But, um... Alright, guys. Here we go. Are you afraid of spoiling some of your motifs? No, no, no. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm gonna missay something. And then, like, the... The... Overly enthusiastic lore people are gonna come for me. <laughs> um... Yeah, this will be canon. Okay, all right. Anyways, okay. Here we go. The Dream SMP lore. Whatever G says is canon. No, 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 no. I want to preface. I want to preface that I probably um, haven't... Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, well, let's just get started. So, the Dream SMP didn't actually start as a Minecraft roleplay. A Minecraft roleplay server. It started off as a server for um, Dream and George to try out and look at the new Nether update. I think the 1.16 Nether update. And so, so it started off with that. And then slowly they started adding some of their closest friends to the server, like Ponk, Sam, Alyssa, Callahan, um, Puns is later. I don't think puns was at the very beginning. Sapnap, of course, um, and like all those people. So it started off just like as a casual server for like a bunch of friends to just hang out. Um, a bunch of like a bunch of friends to hang out, just play on the server, and that's when they started streaming, right? Um, so you s most a lot of the timeline change um, 
to shifting over to a roleplay server when Tommy joined. So that's why if you see some like timelines out there, there is the before Tommy and the after Tommy period. So Tommy got added to the server and we all know Tommy. When he joins a server, he likes to be a menace. So he likes to cause like wreck havoc and like everything. So we, I love that they've made the distinction. Yes, of course. Wilbur and Tommy started role playing. Yes, Wilbur, after Tommy got added, um, Tommy asked for some of his friends to be added to the server. Um, the way we just take this as a given, of course, of course. So later, later, a bunch of other people joined. I'm not going to go into too much detail in the beginning because I will say when I started reading into lore, um, it was already in the middle of like the whole catastrophe. Um, so I'm just going to be very general with the beginning. So blah, 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 blah. Wilbur, <laughs> Wilbur, when he got added to the server was all like, like, let's make it, I don't know. He wanted to start some drama to make it like a role play to make it more interesting or something. And so he, <laughs> <laughs> beginning is also very vague because there's no clear difference between them just messing around in the lore exactly exactly and um before i get any further this is this is a role play scenario with like just a bunch of friends on a minecraft server and i wouldn't take anything that they do too seriously you know what i mean so we all just need to chill when it comes to this lore you know what i mean so Wilbur. Wilbur wanted to make a van. So he made a van to sell drugs. Yes, drugs. And he roped in Tommy as well as Tubbo, question mark, um, to... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so he wanted to build a van, uh, put together a van to sell drugs, right? Maybe two vans, actually. Yes. Wait, what? The second one is only canon sometimes? What second one? I know he made the burger van later. Like, that's much later. So, so that happened. And I think, I think, was it Dream who was like, <laughs> there was like, I remember this one clip of Dream going like, oh my gosh, a hot dog van. Because like, he disguised it as like a hot dog van right? He disguised the drug van as a hot dog van so he can sell drugs undercover, question mark, <laughs> right? Is, is this right? I don't actually know. Something, something, something. Um, um, someone said, no, you're not allowed to sell drugs or something. And then Wilbur was like, this isn't fair or something. Um, and then wanted to make his own land question mark <laughs> i don't know i don't know the very beginning is very i always thought it was a macaroni on the van no 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 no. it was a hot dog um something 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 um they wanted they wanted their rights you know to sell drugs so wilbur wanted to create um a land right a land where he is allowed to sell drugs because <laughs> dream wouldn't let him sell drugs yeah right that that's right right so he wanted to make a land where he can sell the drugs and something about not allowing americans in so they named this land lamanberg <laughs> lamanberg um so Wilbur took some of the land to make Lamanberg and didn't allow Americans in, only allowed UK, British, European people, question mark, in, right? And then something, 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 um, the Greater Dream SMP, which is like, you know, the, uh, the, the rest of the SMP, um, Dream was all like, hey, you're not allowed to take my land. And then Wilbur was all like, I will, <laughs> basically, and then I'm I'm like skipping over like a bunch of like small small wars, right? 
like there's the pet war that I didn't really look into. There's like that mini war with like Tommy and Sapna versus Dream or something. That's the beginning of the disc war, a question mark. I don't actually know. I skipped over that. Um, so something, something, something. Um, war. <laughs> Oh, war for the land. Woo. Um, Tommy gets discs at some point. Yeah, he gets discs at some point. I don't actually know. <laughs> is this is this like I don't know if this makes sense. So some of Tommy's prized possessions are these discs that he found that he finds at some point in time. Um Wilbur goes into war with with Dream over the land of Lamanberg. Um, because Wilbur took land, Wilbur technically took land from the greater SMP to make Lamanberg. Um, something, something, something. Um, take that, green boy. That comes after I want to see white flags. <laughs> We we know those lines, right? Right? I don't know if this is making any sense. Maybe I should draw a diagram, right? Let's make a little diagram. So we're here at the beginning. So this is when the server was made. Server made, right? Something, um... Good time. Good time, smile. This. Tommy join. <laughs> Tom, good time, no RP, kinda. Right? And then this is when Tommy joined. And then, um, something after, um, wasn't there like three rules on the SMP? <laughs> Bad times. It's like it's like uh you know. So something something something. Um Tommy breaks the three rules here, which is a very short time. This is not to scale. Okay, not to scale. God, it's uh, we're only at the beginning where I didn't even watch and I'm already all over the place. Yeah, Tommy mentioned them in the tribute video. The tribute video is okay. I think it's slightly biased, but... Um... Yes. So then... Stuff happens. And then RP... S wait. RP... Starts. Tommy broke those rules in three five seconds upon joining? Yes. Something, something. Tommy ex gets discs somewhere around here. Also, uh, this is when Wilbur joined. And also, Lamanberg happened. Lamanberg. Um, let's see. What else happened? Where did I leave off? So the war happens. War happens. And... What you need, all you need to know is that at the end of this, um, it all ended with a standoff between Tommy and Dream, where, right? Where if Dream, they're all like down to like one heart, they all have an arrow, and at go, when they turn around and shoot each other, the person who dies loses, and then the person who survives wins. And so with this, Dream shot Tommy first, right? So then, so basically at this point, Lamanberg lost. And something, 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 Tommy made a deal with Dream to trade his discs for Lamanberg's independence. Right? So, yeah, Tommy lost, but Tommy decided to trade his discs for Lamanberg's independence. So, at this point, the discs doesn't belong to Tommy, it belongs to Dream, and Lamanberg is independent right? Am I getting this right? And then at some point, 
Tommy was like, I'm gonna steal those discs back. Does that make sense? Is is uh, is this the right way? Am I <laughs> am I saying this correctly? I don't know if I'm I'm like skipping over a lot of things because honestly, they're not as important. <laughs> If I don't really need to know them, you don't really need to know them, right? Um, so yeah. So, some point, something, something. Um, after this, they decided to run elections because Lemanberg, no one actually elected for anyone to rule Lemanberg, you know? Like, there's no president or whatever. So they decided to run elections. This is the next arc, right? The arc after this is the election arc. Is this right? I wasn't there for the election arc either. Um, so so let me let me get this right. There is there was there was what? There was Pog Pog 2020, right? There was swag 2020. And what was it? Coconut? <laughs> Or something? What was the third one? What was the third party? <laughs> I don't know why coconut was the first thing in my head. I might be wrong. Sounds right? Okay. So it was coconut. Uh, that's how you spell it, right? 2020. Um, I'm trying to think. Pog, Pog 2020 was Wilbur, right? Running for president. Right? This was this was this was Wilbur. Um who was Swag? And who was Coconut? I forgot. Like I don't really remember. Um there was this like elections thing. Um one of them one of them was Schlatt, right? And the other one was um Quackity, right? Quackity was swag and fundy. Oh, fundy. Okay. So this is Quackity. And this is... Had his own party, I think. Um, So I, I don't really know much about the elections. All I know was that at some point... um, I think swag and coconut, right? Combine their votes together and their combined swag plus schlatt. Okay, so not coconuts. Swag plus schlatt? Is that is that what I'm hearing? I don't actually this part like I don't understand. Okay, so Schlatt has his own own thing and then they combined they combined their votes to beat Pog. So I think it was Schlatt, who became um, president of Lemanberg, um, and Quackity was right hand, right? Quackity was right hand. So Schlatt became the president of Lemanberg and then renamed it to Manberg, right? And then um, after this, Schlatt Schlatt then exiled Wilbur and Tommy, who was running for Pog. And so Wilbur and Tommy got exiled, um, went off, made their own place called Pogtopia, right? And so they made Pogtopia. <laughs> Am I getting this right? And so Tubbo, Tubbo was an in-between, right? Tubbo was working under Schlatt but was actually a double agent to re relay information back to Wilbur and Tommy for Pogtopia, right? And, um, was like a ditch or something. It was like in an underground ravine area. Um, and that is where, were they, ugh, Something, something, planning to take back Manberg, Lemanberg or something. Um, this part is a little iffy because I joined right after this arc ended. Um, so wh when it comes to after this, 
I, I got it down to the T. I know exactly what happens. But um, I only know from TNT uh, duo lore speculation. So <laughs> like take it with a grain of salt. At some point, pretty much everyone was on Pogtopia's side, partially because they didn't want to play the bad guy. So Dream initially working with Will switched to Schlatt's side. Okay, so yeah. So basically everyone was working with Pogtopia to try and get Lamanberg back. But so no one was on Schlatt's side. So to make the lore interesting, Dream switched sides. Um, and the reason why he switched sides was because Schlatt had something to give to Dream um, um, as like a bargain. Like if you come to my side, you can get this, right? And that's later to be revealed as the Revive book. <clears throat> I'll explain more of that later. So Dream switched sides, joined um, Schlatt's side. Um, they all planned this war. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Something, something. Schlatt dies of a heart attack. Or something. That's when I joined. I'm like skipping over a lot of things. But that's okay. That's okay. That's all you really need to know. So Sl Schlatt dies, and then we had a new, a new quote unquote election, but it wasn't an election. Someone just like stepped up. So at first, who is it? At first, it was Wilbur. Wilbur was all there, like, oh my gosh, Wilbur's gonna rule. And then he's like, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it to Tommy, right? And then Tommy was like, um, I don't know. I think I'll leave it to Tubbo, right? Is this, is this what I, um, because Tommy is all like, I have some unfinished business glares at Dream or something. And so then the Tubbo became it. And then Tubbo was like, okay. <laughs> so Tubbo became president. Um, so after this, Tubbo became president. And then, yeah. And then Wilbur went to his, to his place. Oh, sometime before this, Technoblade got added to the server. So Techno's there. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So I think Techno got added uh, at some point. So yeah, Techno's there. Techno fought. Um, something, something. Um, Tommy was like, we have the blade. And then Techno joined the server and everyone's like, oh my God, Techno. Um, so there's that. And then later on, blah, 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 where we are. Wilbur was all like, um, my unfinished symphony and then was about to press the button because he planted tnt to blow up the server uh well blow up lamander because like it wasn't how he envisioned it or whatever and then phil's in minecraft logged into the server and then something something wilbur what are you doing and then there's like the father and son moment because dun 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 Philza was revealed to be Wilbur's dad and then Wilbur was like um he said something um oh wait there's Eret at the first war Crystal said it in chat Eret betrayed um Lamanberg um to help with the greater dream SMP before Tommy lost. And that was the line of the, it was never meant to be. And then button press explosion. And then, well, not explosion. People come out and like they died. So here, <laughs> Wilbur said the same thing. Like, uh, <laughs> you just remember status animation, did you? I, I saw it in my eyes. I saw it in my head. And then <laughs> Wilbur was like, um, Lamanberg, it was never meant to be. Blah, blah, blah. Presses the button. Boom, explosions. Techno summons withers. Boom, explosions. Um, something something uh, he dies wilbur there's like this three canon life system i don't know when it was implemented wilbur lost three of his canon lives he died for real for real um and something happens um people suddenly go their separate ways and then come together to rebuild a new lamanberg and uh, Phil's uh, lost his wings, kind of, in this incident, I suppose. Um, and that's why he doesn't have wings. <clears throat> um, new Lamanberg. George just never loses a canon life. George, in the middle of this war, if you guys want to know, George was in the middle of building a mushroom house. I was watching that. <laughs> I was watching that, too. So... <laughs> I missed a lot of the war because I was watching George because I didn't know anybody else. Um, anyways. 
So this begins a new arc. This begins a new arc where um, there's Ghost Burr. Ghost Burr is basically Wilbur's ghost. Um, came came to life. Doesn't have any memories except for the good ones. Um, I guess I should also mention that Wilbur is Fundy's dad biologically. Um, <clears throat> and his wife is a fish. A salmon, to be precise. Um, so, there you go. That's important, I think. <laughs> uh, so here starts the new Lamanberg arc, where... She has a name? Yes, her name is Sally. Sally the Salmon. So lovely. Um, and Wilbur's mother is a fridge. Yes. Um, we already talked about the headcanon of why. Um, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so yeah. What happens in this arc? Um, something about... Rambu joins the server. Um, Tubbo is the president. Um, Tommy ropes in Rambu to burn down um, George's house or something. Um, Dream finds out. Dream finds out. Um, and they hold... Um, what is it called? They hold, they hold a, uh, what is it called? <laughs> um, I forgot the term for this. They, uh, they were like went to court. What is that called? They went to court. <laughs> they, they, uh, a court hearing, a trial. Yes, a trial. They hold a trial. Um, over who who did it and what their um what their quote unquote punishment would be for doing this because was it at this point at this point dream already um told because for Eric's betrayal to Lamanberg Eric was going to be king of the SMP but then dream told Eric like hey I don't know if you're fit um, for this role. And so he took the crown away and gave it to George. Um, so at this point, George is the king of the SMP. Um, and so Tommy burning down George's house is like the offense to the king of the SMP. And so that's why they're holding a trial. And it was pretty civil. And Dream was down for probation for, for a, a certain amount of time. And um, he had originally said exile, but then it was all like, hey, prob probation is good too. Eric got dethroned because Carl overheard they were going to help Poctovia, which was against staying neutral as a king, and Carl told Dream, there you go. There you go. <clears throat> That's why he took the crown away. Um, 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 um. And then at some point, they agreed, and then I think Tommy... This was before roleplay, where Dream had a horse named Spirit. Um, and Spirit was, like, one of Dream's greatest pets who died because of Sapnap. <laughs> um, <clears throat> just got back from dinner, we're only at Pogtopia? No, 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 we're post-Pogtopia right now, we're at New Lamanberg. Um, so, I broke down every time I think of a Defending Zero, despite only knowing him for, like, two days? Yes. Um... So, so yeah, um, Tommy said that he did it by himself and then blah, 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 Tommy, they were, they were down to do like probation, I think, for a certain amount of time. Then Tommy whipped out Spirit's, um, um, leather, which is, you know, horse drops leather, right? <laughs> right? Is that what they do? Horse drops leather. And then that was Spirit's leather. <clears throat> and then it was all like... Um, then he was trying to hold it, hold spirits leather against the dream, being like, 
um, I have this over you, so like you, you're not allowed to uh, do whatever, right? And then, then there's the iconic dream speech. It was like, where I don't give an f about spirit. I don't give about an f about anything at all. Um, blah blah blah. Uh, so yeah, so dream was all like, yeah, I don't care about spirit. Um, and you know what? You pissed me off. And so he looked at Tubbo and it was all like, so it's either. <laughs> It's either because, like, at this point, uh, before the trial, Dream was building obsidian walls around Lamanberg? Question mark. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, and so then Dream was like, "It's either the walls go back up, right, and like war or something, or you exile your friend, right." Uh, the funny thing is that the leather wasn't even spirit because Sapna used it to make a picture frame. No, okay, we're gonna ignore that part. <laughs> we're ignoring that part, okay? <clears throat> so, so at this point, um, let's see, not team spirit. So at this point, um, so Tubbo is down because Tubbo is the president of Lemanberg and Tommy is his vice president right or like well at least the resident of Lamanberg. um and so tubbo had to make this decision and it was actually up to chat it was like a chat like a twitter vote a twitter poll vote and so it was really up to us and like everyone voted it's all tommy um so <laughs> and so at this point um there's supposed to be like an in-between and then they met on a certain day, like he gave T Tubbo like a certain amount of days before like they met, and um, so Tubbo, in the end, it was originally going to be he was going to be on Tommy's side and help like explain and like try to keep Tommy together, and then you know, and then Tubbo said for the greater good of the land, um, he'll exile Tommy, right? Didn't want Eret to help Pogtopia when he provided Tommy with the stuff like his crossbow and other things. Sorry if I say something weird. English is my first language. I think it's because um, Eret is supposed to be stay neutral. Eret's supposed to stay neutral and not help with either side. Like not help the SMP and not help Lamanberg or Pogtopia or like whatever. And Dream um, can like, you know, do whatever. But instead, you know, Dream also gave Wilbur the TNT. Yeah, Dream was just like, everywhere he's all like hi i'm here need stuff i got you um <clears throat> so there's that and so uh, tommy got exiled um tommy got exiled dream wanted to see chaos yes he wanted to see chaos but also wanted to see the down the downfall of lemanberg um which you know valid Valid, me too. <laughs> um, um, um. I love New Lamanberg though. I think New Lamanberg is one of my favorite arcs. I'm biased though because that was my first arc I joined too. Still don't know what side Dream is. Uh, overall, Dream is on the greater SMP side, kind of. You know. He doesn't like Lemanberg. That's all you need to know. He doesn't like Lemanberg. He wanted to see white flags outside your base by tomorrow at dawn or you are dead. <sighs> Dream isn't on the side, really. He isn't. But, um, you know, he likes to see chaos, but he also doesn't like Lemanberg after the, the Pogtopia incident, you know. Anyways, um... Overall, let's just conclude that everyone's mentally ill. Like, their characters, they're all a little up there, you know? <clears throat> that That's what happens when you have war every other second, so. They all need therapy. <laughs> that's what they need. But there was no therapist on the server. And the one who was supposed to be a therapist was um slightly biased. Um, Also, wasn't in the office most of the time. Um... Um, um, I'm not trying to say anything, but uh, there's no therapist on the server, so everyone was just going crazy. There we go. Um, <laughs> so we're at exile, right? We're at exile. Tommy got exiled. Um, 
and then start committing crimes themselves. That's true. That's true. Um, the one thing that you need to know about the Dream SMP is that everything has to end in explosions. Everything has to be blown up. If we can't handle things um, being filed reasonably, everything has to be exploded. Um, TNT is the only way to solve problems and to give more problems. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. That's what you need to know. Dream SMP. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We're at Exile. Um, what do we need to do? Dream gave daily visits to Tommy or something um, to keep him company in Exile to remind him about stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, Dream was also trying to give good connections with Lemanberg. Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, actually, the SMP lore versus the SMP lore. If everyone went to therapy, exactly. <laughs> like the this is this is what I'm assuming, Sully. You're you're talking about this. This is a book, right? And here's here's all its pages. This is DSMP lore, and then this is <laughs> DSMP lore. If people got therapy <laughs> there you go <laughs> um, <laughs> the reason sansler tnt um solves every problem yep techno moved to a snowy wonderland because everyone hated him yes after that um and also he wanted to retire um the thing that you want to know about techno is that he's an anarchist um so techno is an anarchist he doesn't like government so anything with government, he would like to, you know, get rid of. Um, so I'm going to generalize the part of exile a lot. So, um, Tommy didn't like exile, um, because Dream was being a meanie, um, while Dream was trying to teach him a lesson about something. And then Tommy ran away from his exile place, ran to Techno's base, um, because him and Techno kind of were sort of in good terms, I think. And then, um, so Tommy, this is how um, raccoon Tommy kind of happened, because Tommy was kind of like a raccoon taking stuff from uh, Techno's base and everything to use and whatever. Um... And also at this point, Techno and Dream are also on good terms. Um, Techno and Filza kind of live in the same area together and they've been friends. Um, <clears throat> yes. Yes, that is what happened. Um, what else happened? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, <clears> hmm. <throat> Rivals duo, my beloveds, yes. Um, something about someone blew up the community house. And if you guys don't know what the community house is, the community house is probably the oldest and probably one of the first, if not the first building that was created on the server that Dream took much pride in. Um, it, it's like Dream's little home that he made with his friends. Um, someone, um, I don't know, has it been confirmed who blew it up? But the community house blew up. Um, Dream was sad and upset. And something about... No, just Wilbur and Phil are canon family. Yes. Um, so Wilbur and... F so Phil and Wilbur are canonically father-son. Um, and canonically, Fundy is Wilbur's son. And canonically, Wilbur was married to a salmon named Sally. Um, and then I believe Dream blew it up with Rambu providing the TNT, but don't quote me on it. I, I, I don't know. Like everything's all mixed up. Like it's whatever. Someone blew up the community house, framed it on somebody. Um, and then when did Doomsday happen? Doomsday happened at some point. <laughs> I think Doomsday happened after the community house got blown up. 
It's because Dream was all like, we're meeting at this time and then uh, we're gonna fight war, blah blah blah. And then he met up with Techno and they arrived early and started exploding things early before the meeting time. Um, because the Dream made these these obsidian grids in the sky to explode um, explosions. And so Tommy's out of exile, now teamed with Lemanberg again. And then they're trying to go against Dream, who has teamed up with Techno and Phil to blow up Lemanberg because they all agree that Lemanberg is cursed. Um, so, yeah. And so then Lemanberg was exploded, and then uh, something, something, everyone went their separate ways after that. And um, Tommy went back to his base. Tubbo built Snowchester. Um, Nikki and Fundy left to dry waters. Um, Techno retired. Um, I think this was also when, this is also when, like, everything branched out. Everything branched out. Kanoko Kingdom. Um, Carl left to build Kanoko Kingdom with, um, Bad, uh, George, and Sapnap. Quackity left, and I think this is when he started his Lost Nevadas arc, question mark. Um, and then also, was this also the time when, like, Foolish was added to the server? Um, I know the principal points of the lore, but I don't know what associates the Doomsday. Um, Doomsday was a war triggered by the, um, um, by the explosion of, of the community house. So, after this, um, this is when, like, a lot of things branched out. So, as I listed... And then somewhere between all of this, people are developing their stuff. Um, Dream. This is this is the beginning of the f the Disc War finale. Um, after Doomsday, I'm pretty sure. And so after Doomsday, Dream blew up. Not blew up. Kind of like caught Tommy's house on fire. Kind of left a note saying like, "Hey, let's meet here to set things straight." right um so after all this tommy and tubbo i'm skipping over a bunch of stuff because really you don't really need to know it um so after all this tommy and tubbo um kind of like rallied the community like the server together saying hey we're going off in this adventure um to fight dream and then everyone's all like okay good luck <laughs> um and so they're like good luck come back alive and so they go off tommy and tubbo to dreams underground secret lair far far away and then um dream was all like we're gonna fight for these discs and then they're fighting and then the dream held either something about holding tubbo's life in his hands and it was all like uh tommy is either tubbo's life or the discs and then um, Tommy was like, my friendship is more important, and then gave the discs back to Dream, where Dream did his evil, evil laugh, and was like, ha ha ha, these aren't even the real discs, you fool. And so, they brought him down to the under-underground lair, and was, like, explaining, like, uh, I realize that, um, I have to take everyone's attachment to bring the server something to, quote-unquote, rule over the server again, or something. Um, power or whatever. And then, <clears throat> And then something, something, well, I'm going to kill your friend now. And then Tommy and Tubbo had this heartfelt moment and was all like, uh, Tubbo was like, Tommy, what am I without you? And then Tommy was like, yourself? And then it was like all tears and sad and everything. And then Dream was all like, all right, it's time for the end. And then vroom, 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 that's the portal. <laughs> um... Vroom, 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 the portal, and then Puns and the rest of the server shows up. And Puns was all like, Dream, you should have paid me more. And then um, the server was all like, ha ha ha, everyone, uh, we're all against Dream now. And then Tommy was all like, was all like um, oh my gosh, now I have power, ha ha ha, digs to a two by a two by one, a one by two hole. And it was all like, all right, Dream, drop 
uh, drop all your stuff in here. And then Dream was all like, what? And he was like, that's, you heard me, drop all your stuff here or else you die. And then that's what he did. Tommy took his stuff and then was all like, um, hack and slash loses Dream's two lives, like die. And so he did. So Dream only has one life. And Tommy was about to kill Dream one more time. Then Dream's like, whoa, 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 hold up. I know how to bring people back to life. And then Tommy's like, huh? And then Dream was all like, I have this revive book that Schlatt gave me. Oh my god, remember that from a long time ago? Back in the Mamber days? Um, and Dream was all like, I can bring Wilbur back to life. And then <clears throat> um, at some point before this, Dream talked to Sam and commissioned him to build a prison. Um, an un inescapable prison question mark and so that was built by this time and sam was all like hey we can throw this guy in the prison and then he was like you know what you're right um and so then dream was let off to be trapped in the prison um so dream was in <laughs> question mark indeed <laughs> and so and then after all this it was originally for tommy i think no 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 this is where it gets spicy. <laughs> where lots of people didn't watch this part of the lore. And lots of people didn't watch this part of the lore, which is very interesting to me. <clears throat> so, at some point before the, the disc finale, where everyone, where Dream died twice, at some point, nobody watched this for some reason. But Puns did a lore stream. Puns did a lore stream um, about um, where it was revealed that Dream and Puns are working together. Dream and Puns are working together. Dream said that you need to create, like, um, need to do something where it shows that you are against me. Like, it can't be obvious that you are working with me. And Puns is the, like, yes. Um, and so what puns did because dream said i'm going to be away for a very long time um so we have to give you an alibi for why you are not with me right <clears throat> and so that the the part where puns was shown to be against the dream to clear his name was because he led the people towards the underground base to stop dream from killing tommy so or like killing tubbo or something and so this is why people don't really know this part because that was actually canon before the final disc um finale so i think so um yeah yeah, so it has been revealed that Puns is working with Dream at this point, and it's been called the staged finale because even even if like a lot of people watch Tommy and Tubbo's part and they're like, ah, Dream's locked up. The prison was meant for someone grand. It was meant for Tommy, but it was actually all staged, and the prison was originally and always has been meant to be for Dream. Um, it's been staged. Um, it's been confirmed by that lore and by puns and dream themselves, I think, or some other people. So this is this is where um, the SMP turns extra dark, a little bit more dark at this point when dream goes into the prison. Um, this is when um, Quackity's Lost Nevada's arc became like great, like big. DC Tommy seems to not have been notified of it ever. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, um, at this point, um, actually, I for there's just one small detail that I should mention. Before the final disc finale, um, there is a smaller arc right before that. Um, it's called the Butcher Army. Um, I think this part is very important because um it's where Tubbo, Fundy, Quackity, and Rambu were all together to become the Butcher Army. And they were trying to take down people who have, like, leads over them. And that is mainly Dream and Techno. Like, they're the two most powerful people on the server. And so, um, I think... 
they changed it to go for techno before dream, right? And so they went and like they went to techno's base. Um, so at this point, Filza was living in um, Lamanberg, but also with techno. I don't actually recall. Um, I'm pretty sure he like was living like both areas, and so they put Filza in house arrest. And then, um, and try to find where Techno is, because nobody knew who te where Techno was, because Techno was retired um, out in, like, the tundra, right? And so, Tubbo found um, this compass that leads to Techno, because that's how Phil and Techno, like, could find each other. Um, and it's been confirmed that Techno and Phil's were longtime friends. So, at this point, um... About the egg? No, the egg is coming up. The egg. There's so many overlaps. There's so many overlaps, guys. There's so many overlaps. Phil was on house arrest. Yes, they house arrest Phil. Um, and so, so they went to Techno's base. Um, and one of Techno's like prized, um, you know, like animals that he loves is Carl, his horse. And so they're holding C Carl the horse, Carl with a C, um, against. Techno to bring Techno to um to Lamberg so it's a public execution. Um they were going to publicly execute Techno and Techno I think has been confirmed to only have one life. Um same with Phil. Phil only has one life, Techno only has one life. And so before they could um execute Techno Techno and Dream met up like before this and Dream led him gave him a map to a woodland mansion to get um um a totem of undying because Dream said there are people um coming after you and he heard about it um and he he said that he heard about it from like an ally he has people listening and it has been confirmed that it is puns at this point and so so during the execution Techno didn't reveal that he had a totem, but he had a totem on him. Um, so, so he had a totem because of Dream. And then Dream went to rescue Carl um, and built like um, an area where he can like bring Carl and like Techno can hide and then they can like run back and escape back to the tundra or something. But um, so... Um, during the execution, before they can pull the lever, um, Puns comes down to create a distraction. Um, Puns comes down, drops a bunch of TNT, creates a distraction because, you know, he's working with Dream. Dream rushes to get Carl. Um, and then um, this is when um, Techno uses the Totem of Undying because uh, Tubbo triggered the... Um, the anvil execution. So that was supposed to kill him, but the t the totem of dying brought him back. He escaped and ran away. And then uh, boom, lots of distractions, and everyone is like puns is like creating a bunch of distractions or whatever. Um, Techno meets with Dream and Carl in the little cave, and Dream was all like, "Good luck." Um, blah blah blah. What? What are you confused about? <laughs> I'll try my best to explain. Can you show the visuals? With Hog Hunt? Yes, I could, actually. Um, do you guys want a recap of everything that I've said so far by watching Satis' animatics? I just joined- I'm explaining the Dream SMP lore. As best as I can. <laughs> and very generally. <laughs> recap of the recap? Yes. Um, it gives, like, visual- visual comment like visual assistance to what i have been trying to explain um but yeah so so the main reason why i bring up this because then techno quackity follows techno to this cave and was like um no way techno i'm gonna kill you right here right now and then techno was all like um um, he can still beat Quackity and whatever and something, something, something. I'm going to put a pickaxe through your teeth or something. And then this gives, this gives Quackity a reason to really not like Techno. <laughs> I'm getting so high listening to you. <laughs> I hope I'm explaining it well. Um, and so this is the reason why um, Techno owes Dream a favor. That's important. That Techno owes Dream a favor. Um... <clears throat> And so Dream was going to 
um like ask for that favor during the final discord um to help him out to escape and not go into prison but then that didn't happen and so then the stage finale happened you know um so that's where we're ending right here and that's also where status's animatics kind of ended like animations kind of ended so if you guys would like we can do a little little watch party a little watch party before i explain the prison arc <laughs> yeah yeah that sound good i can put it up and then i can go use my bathroom break yeah prison arc also status kind of used like dmca music so i will be muting this for the vod um sorry vod watchers um sorry vod watchers okay did i run the hour five ads yet well i'm going to do it well you know i don't think it's dmca music it's warriors by imagine dragons for the very first one i'm pretty sure that's dmca <laughs> I'm like pretty sure that's DMCA. Anyways, you guys should follow Sadis. Sadis is epic. <clears throat> Where is it? Anyways, it's this one. It's the League one. Okay, but I'm still going to be safe than sorry. Um, I'm gonna mute this one. I'm gonna mute it in the VOD, so. Someone has to remind me to unmute it later, though. Um, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Boom! Boom! So, yep. Anyways, here's spoilers. This is a recap of my recap. Okay, guys? <clears throat> So, whoopsie. I'm going to do this, and then, and then this. Guys, trust me, I am subscribed to Sadis. This is, I'm just not on the right account. Trust, trust, trust. Okay, I'm going to play this. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. Okay, I'll be right back.
we're dead. What happened? What happened? The Twitch play ads while I play the animatic? Oh god. Is that what happened? Should I rewatch this? People got ads right as you started the video? What? Here, I'll I'll replay, I'll replay it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and Mesa's fire. Ah. Bro, status. Status. Bro, when I watched this, guys, when I watched this for the first time, I won't lie, I thought this was legit. I thought it was not roleplay. I was like, oh, people are actually serious. Boom! Crash! Puns! Oh, puns! Our war. No mercy for you! It was never meant to be. Tomorrow at dawn, or you're dead. Ooh, back when they didn't know how to roleplay that much. Ooh. Dude, never fails to hype me up either. Okay, so we have that. And then after that, we have the fall. And I'll say the fall is my favorite. I think the fall is my favorite because um, I think it was... When was this made? <clears throat> yeah, the fall was... No. No. Actually, Dawn of the 16th was the first one I saw live, but fall was my favorite. <clears throat> Dream layout for so long? Yeah. Tommy, are we the bad guys? This was the beginning of um, Satis and two-way collaboration. So, so the first part was um, the Lamanberg Independence arc that I um, explained at the very beginning. This is the Manberg and Pogtopia arc that I explained with the elections. So this is the elections part. It's so good. <clears throat> Ooh, chills. <clears throat> As president of the Vanberg.
Yes, sir. And Tommy in it. Oh, that transition! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Henry 07! <clears throat> Here it is! Technoblade joins the server. Ooh, Oh, Techno always has the best lines. Nikki. Oh, Techno always had the best lines. Oh, Techno. <clears throat> so that was the Manberg and Pogtopia arc. Um, Dawn of the 16th. Um, was basically the, um, the, was the war between Pogtopia and Manberg. Okay, so here we go. Miss you, Techno? Yeah. I want to binge the Dream SMP now. Good luck. <laughs> That's a lot. <clears throat> Wait, this is so good. Can we watch this one? This one's so good. Trust, trust, trust. All right, back to the scheduled uh, animatics, Dawn of 16th. That, that was necessary to watch, okay? I'm sorry, guys. That was necessary to watch. That was absolutely necessary. This is the man... This is the Pogtopia versus Manberg War. Um, so, yes. This was right before New La Manberg. Oh, this is so good. Swim. Iconic. Suck it, green boy. Ooh, iconic. <laughs> Rivals! Rivals! <clears throat> oh, so this part, um, since Techno was teaming with Pogtopia, um, Techno was supplying them, um, supplies for the war against Manberg. There you go. I skipped over this like a bunch, but. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Nice transition. Oh, oh. Oh, bad boy, Halo. Fell to Minecraft. Dun dun. Hmm. L puns. <laughs> Sorry. Trigger happy tubbo. Dies of a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, Carl got bodied. So, so me mentioning that Techno was an anarchist um, is really important here because after they got Manberg back, they were going to make it have like another government which techno didn't want you know he teamed up with pogtopia to take down manberg to take down the government not to have it rise up again with like another um another government you know this is why he didn't like it yeah that part was satisfying here we go what are we playing Here it comes! That was the very first stream I ever watched for the Dream SMP. Had no idea what was happening. I was just sitting here like, yup. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but now I get it. I understand now. I understand now. <clears throat> so yeah, there's that. Um, we can watch Evelyn Evelyn because this, this describes, um, this is describing about tubbo's and tommy's relationship and explanation of like um their feelings during exile you know during the exile portion so we can watch this one we watch this one Real all alt alta all real all ties. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, welcome in raiders. Welcome in raiders. I am. We're doing. <laughs> sorry, you joined. You joined to me attempting to explain the Dream SMP lore, and we're doing a recap of my recap by watching Sadis's animatics and animations. But hello, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What are you guys up to? I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had a good stream. But yes, hello, hello, welcome in everybody. <clears throat> welcome in. We just, um, I, I just finished explaining up to the end of the disc finale, and that's why we're watching the animations, Status's animatics and animations, because um, they ended it at the, the disc finale. So, and then I'll be, I'll be explaining post- disc finale as best I can <laughs> so if you guys would like it's just a hype up because I think lore is coming soon if you guys didn't see Tommy and Dream were in call together for a couple hours talking about lore so yeah lore lore might you know jump right back so there we go 
There you go. <clears throat> All right. Welcome in, everyone. I'm just gonna... What? I didn't know that? Yeah. Um... Yeah, Tommy wrote in his um, Twitch chat saying that he knows Stream because he was in call with um, he was in call with Dream, and then Dream posted something on his private talking about how he just got off call with Tommy to talk about lore. So yeah, Dream SMP lore season one hasn't ended yet. So we still have lore between Tommy, Dream, Tubbo. Um, I don't know if Phil's did his lore yet. But um, I think Wilbur's all wrapped up. The egg lore is wrapped up. Um, uh, I think I think Sam and Boomer did their lore together. I think theirs is wrapped up. Um, did Ponk? I think Ponk wrapped his up. Did Ponk wrap his up? I can't remember. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. A lot. A lot of season one is being wrapped up. A lot of season one is being wrapped up and season two will be um, a little bit after that. So there is going to be season two. Uh, Lost Novatus is also wrapped up. So there you go. What about Rambu? Do you know if they have finished? Um, I don't know if Rambu said anything. Bad did it too? Yes. Bad Bad is basically... Well, the egg lore. I don't know. I know the egg lore is wrapped up. I'm not sure if Bad's lore is wrapped up. Ponk was with the egg lore, I think. Okay. Yeah, right? Rambu's with uh, Mexican Dream, right? Possibly. That's Rambu's wrap-up. Rambu will do a finale solo. I think he talked about it, but didn't watch the stream. Yeah, I don't really remember, but there you go. There you go. So, um, there's still a couple of streams um, lore to wrap up with. Um, it has been a little bit on pause due to um, face reveal, Dream Team meetup, um, George coming to Florida. So, yeah. There's that. There's that. A little bit of a hold up, but it's, it's going to be all wrapped up relatively soon. I don't know if it's before the end of the year, but you know. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna continue playing the video. So. So yeah, I think that's a good representation of their, um, you know, their relationship towards each other for Exile and like how Tommy felt betrayed by Tubbo exiling him and Tubbo trying to explain why his reasoning for exiling Tommy and keeping Lamanberg safe um, from, you know, from any further chaos and like war. So yeah, that's why this animatic is good um, to explain that. Um, now we have Hog Hunt. Hog Hunt is the little um, moment that I explained with the Butcher Army, um, and the reason, and this gives the reason why um, Techno owes Dream a favor. So this this is also very important. Also very good. This is a very good anima uh, animation. This is animation. So. There you go. Blood and spoilers. No longer spoilers because I explained it, but. Ghostbur. Remember when I said, this is new Lamanberg, by the way. This part is new Lamanberg. So at this point, Tubbo's president. Mm See, this is Philza living in New Lamanberg and under house arrest. And this is Techno's new base after he retired in the tundra. So.
choose. Okay, that part was made into a giant meme. <laughs> This is the butcher army. Here's the execution. <laughs> Stage duo! Bonds! Bonds! Oh, this part! Warning! Blood! Warning! <laughs> Gore! Kind of. Whoa! Oh, that scene was so good. Sorry, I'm playing it again. It's just so good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This scene just gives me chills every time. Fight scene. Oh, so good. Ooh. So. <laughs> so if you're wondering what that ending part was so the um, the execution took place during the time where tommy ran away from exile and so at the very end of um this part shows techno discovering that tommy has been quote unquote raiding his home for supplies and then techno basically kind of just like was like okay fine i'll help you or something, you know? And so this is where he showed him this. So that's that's where Hog Hunt ends at um, during that part. <clears throat> this is amazing. So before we do anything else, we have to watch the bloopers. The bloopers is literally one of my favorite. Um, so it shows the be little behind the scenes because all of these like animation animatics are like very cool, shows like the cool side of the SMP, but the blooper shows that it's it's at the end of the day, the Dream SMP is a server for friends to play on, not just roleplay, not just the lore. At the end of the day, Dream SMP is a server for friends to play on and just hang out together. <laughs> I don't know how many times I want to repeat that, but here we go. This, this bloopers is so good. It's just so good. Woo! No longer available. It's already no longer available. Sorry. <laughs> we love satyrs. We love satyrs. Thank you for the hydrate, Justin. Woo. Oops. Sorry.
This is so funny. I saw this live, me too. This part is good too. Mother in it! Mother in it! I'm in a war, mom. <laughs> this part was amazing. Um if you guys didn't know, this part of the lore, Tommy got struck by lightning during this very serious moment of them talking to each other, Ghost Burr and Tommy. And the reason behind it wasn't because it was lightning luck. It was because Dream made it. So that <laughs> lightning struck Tommy at this point. Dream <laughs> like literally made it. So um, Tommy got struck by lightning. And it was literally one of the funniest moments in the lore. I did not know that. There you go. Yep. Yep. One wasn't on purpose and the other was dream. This part was dream. Um, there's another part that wasn't dream, but this one was, was dream. This was the start of Rambu's lore and the panic room this is epic this part made me laugh <clears throat> what Dutch. <laughs> techno <laughs> there we go. Blooper reel. Blooper reel. <laughs> Dream is... Dream uh, and his Discord will we'll never... You know. <laughs> Anyways. um, Here we go. This is the final... um, The final animation. Technically. Um, for the... For the disc finale. There's this one. Um, where it's just like um the the villain's point of view but this this is the final animation um and it ends at the final at the, the very end of the the disc finale yeah so and then after this we'll watch this one and then i'll do my best to explain post um prison las nevadas post prison kanoko um there's whatever you know there's so oh there's a lot uh, egg, egg, oh god, I didn't even start with the egg lore. <laughs> here we go, here we go.
Hello, G. Hello, Will. Hello, Will. How are you this evening? Pretty good. Pretty good. We're watching some animations and animatics. Hope you're doing well too, Will. Pretty based. That's pretty based. Oh. Oh. So sad. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, swoon. Oh, puns. <laughs> Sap nap. There you go. What it didn't show was that 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 in between the in between moment with the the Wilbur frame, um, is where they threw Dream into prison. There you go, and then everyone went their merry way. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> that was the final animation. That was the end of the disc finale. Um, we can watch this really quick. This is just, you know. <laughs> Did you hear my dad? <laughs> <laughs> My dad was yawning.
That was a yawn? Yeah. Yep, that showed a little bit of Doomsday. That showed a little bit of Doomsday. Um, but yeah, there you go. And that's the end of the Dream SMP animations by Sadist. Um, yep, there you go. There you go. That was the disc finale. That was the disc finale. Um... Yeah, the next arc is basically the prison arc. How do I... So right before the disc finale... Will Sadis post more DSMP stuff? I think Sadis isn't making any more DSMP animations. I think Sadis is doing um, their own thing now, um, which is, you know, good for them. Um, but yeah. There's a lot of other amazing, talented, skilled, like, um, artists, animators, writers who are still keeping up with the Dream SMP lore. So if you guys would like to check them out, they are still out there. Um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after... Now explain the other, like, five lore things in the DSMP. Yes. So I'm going to start slightly with the egg lore. Um, I'll, I will be totally honest, guys. I didn't keep up with the egg lore very much at the beginning, but I kept up with the egg lore more towards the middle and the end. Um, <clears throat> so, um, before the final disc finale, um, we see these red vines that appear, um, on the server, um, Gotta go now because I have to write a paper. No worries, no worries. Um, I'm not too sure how long, how much longer I'll be live. I don't know if I'll finish up with the explaining the lore because you know I have been streaming for six and a half hours. But <clears throat> are you on Manberg side or Lemanberg side? Am I allowed to say neither? <laughs> Am I allowed to say neither? <clears throat> you know what side I'm on? Summer home. Let's go foolish. Um. Anyways. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so before the disc finale, these vines, these red vines appeared on the server and they appeared out of nowhere. And I think like a group of people, I remember Ant was there, Bad was there, Dream was somewhat there. And like f a lot of the like original members or Sam was also there, I think. Um, and they saw these vines and they're like, what are these vines appearing out of the server um, out of nowhere? And this was actually very chilling watching live because you see like all of them together and then they're like running around the same area of the server and they're like, okay, let's, let's remove some of these vines. And so they removed the vines um, and then walked a little bit away, turned around and came back and they, the vines reappear on the server. So this is the introduction to the egg because I think at some point um, they told, someone told bad to dig out an area underground to make as a base for something. I forgot what. And I think Bad dug around in this area and then that's when he discovered the egg, I'm pretty sure. And this is where like I'm not too sure where the egg origins like lie. The Dreamin' Hunters. Oh yeah. Oh god, Dream and Hunters was like a long time ago, like the very beginning. I don't know if I want to explain it. Should I explain it? Do I explain the Dream and Hunters? Bad wanted to be a part, so they gave him a task. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys want to know, Dream and Hunters were basically um Tubbo and Fundy. Um Tubbo and Fundy made this small group called the Dream and Hunters to take down Dreamins, which are like demons you know, and their first person that they want to, um, oh, what's it called? Um, um, what's it called? What, it, what is it called? It's like, um, uh, oh god. You know, like, try to get rid of the demon from someone's body. It starts with an E, E-X. Um, he wants to dig the big area for a statue room, I think? Yeah. Exercise. Yeah. So they're trying to do that for Dream. So. 
there you go. That that's the origins of the Dream and Hunters. They thought they successfully did it, but like who knows what happens. That was the introduction to Dream XD. Um at some point after this, um yeah, so there you go. Crystal knows more about the egg lore than I do. Um So, okay. So, Dreams in prison at this point. Um so yeah, that's where the egg happens. Um so generally about the egg what I know about it, Crystal, feel free if you guys, if you want, want to explain it, like, not forced at all, but, um, how Ivana was my online bestie, let's go, that's epic, um, but basically what happens to the egg lore is that the egg, um, speaks to people and quote-unquote brainwashes them to saying like i can give you what you want basically to some people and um you know kind of like brainwashes people to do their do stuff for them or something so they took bad there's skeppy there's puffy there was like people involved with the egg lore is like those people and then there's puns and then there was sam and then there was punk and um later on there was hannah and some other people. Some people were immune to the egg, right? Yes, some people were immune to the egg, like Tommy. Tommy didn't feel any of the effects of the egg, nor Tubbo, I think. So they didn't hear much about the egg. And Bad was doing his best to recruit more people to join the egg community. Um, and then to host this banquet later on or something, you know? Also during this time, is um yeah and so they found out that to be quote unquote resistant of the egg is that if you wear armor from church prime which i i'm not even gonna bother explaining but you know there's that um <clears throat> so what else happened during this so sam became sam became the warden of the prison to watch over um to watch over dream and also during this part, it's a little bit after, but um, what else happened? Foolish got added to the server. Um, Foolish was a part of Snowchester. Yeah, Tubbo left to make Snowchester after the Discord finale. Um, and then Rambu also became a part of Snowchester. And then also at that, so like Prison Arc and Egglor happened at the same time. Yes. I think egg lore started a little bit before prison, but then, um, because Dream saw the vines, but then egg lore kept going into the prison arc as well. So this is where, like, a lot of lore start overlapping each other, because overlapping this was the egg lore, plus the prison arc, plus Lost Nevadas was being built, plus Kanoko Kingdom was being built, um, so, yeah. So the prison arc, I have to say, lasted a whole, a long time. So the prison lore started January 2021 and lasted until November-ish, right? So yeah, so it was quite a long time, um, the prison lore that happened. And in between that was where a lot of people so people just create, join and create different nations, basically, at this point. They created, they didn't create, like, um, like, quote-unquote governments. They just created land for that, like, you know, they can comfortably live at. So Kanoko Kingdom, quote-unquote, didn't have a government. They were just a home for their loved ones, you know. Same thing, that was the same logic for Las Nevadas. Las Nevadas was built to be, like, you know, a casino place for money and stuff. Um, so there's, there's that portion. Um, part of the prison arc, um, is that people could visit Dream. <laughs> they didn't want to get techno after them. Exactly. And also on top of this, the syndicate was made. So, um, Phil, after Lamanberg blew up because of Doomsday, Phil permanently stays with, um, Techno in his area, right? And so, yeah, they decided to make this thing called the syndicate, and the syndicate 
is where they are a group. They're like a quote unquote book club to take down governments, you know? They're like an anarchist group. Um, after Doomsday and the final disc, whatever, um, I'm pretty sure Rambu also moved into Techno's little area. So Rambu's there as well, too. Um, and so part of the syndicate was is was Techno, Phil, um, Rambu, Nikki joined a little bit later, and then a secret other person that never got revealed. Um, there's been a bunch of theories. Um, I didn't really get into them, but there was a secret um, fifth person that was part of the syndicate that we don't know, I'm pretty sure. And so, um, and what was really special about the syndicate is actually, is that it was built in, um, um, a stronghold, right? And the table that they are going to use was actually the end portal, right? So um, when uh, Techno and Phil built into this and they were like, this would make a great table, they summoned Dream XD. This was, hey, whatever happened to Alyssa? Alyssa, they kind of like redid the server several times. And then when they re whitelisted um, people, Alyssa just didn't like join back or ask to be joined back. But so she kind of just like left to go do her own thing, which is, you know, valid. Um, so this is where they summon Dream XD. Um, Dream XD is in this stream has been said that he is the protector of the end. That's this is when Dream XD was introduced, and that um, they you know, <laughs> yeah, so. DreamXD made sure that the end portal didn't work and then allowed F Techno and Phil to use the end portal as a table as long as they do not have access to the end, which they didn't. And so the end portal turned into a table and then that room became the syndicate room. So. Mm -mm -mm. So there's that. Um, so there's the syndicate. There's not too much to know about it. And then here we go. Prison. What happened? What happened in the prison? Um, Tommy came to visit Dream. Um, to I guess for the first visit was to rub it in his face. Um, and then he left. Then Sapnap came to visit Dream. Um, they started to question the. Um, how humane the person is because there's no bed. Um, is he's being covered, surrounded by obsidian walls, surrounded by lava. Um, because like it's an inex inescapable prison, you know. So that's where Dream is being locked up. Um, so Sapna visits Dream, and then um, Bad visits Dream, and Bad tells him a little bit about the egg and how it's taking over the land. And then Dream's like, oh, okay, well, well, you know, like, uh, keep me updated, I guess, somehow. <laughs> so, there's, so there's that. And then um, Tommy visits a second time. And then the second time that happens, there's this explosion that happens. And, um... You know, when people, they, people, when they come to visit, they sign a document that says, um, if something happens within, on, uh, during, in the prison, during your prison visit, they're allowed to keep you in the prison for a certain time before they let you go. And so there's explosions. So Sam pretty much kept Tommy in the same cell as Dream, um, during us, during that time, um, so they can figure out what happened right and so um what happened after this is that they kind of just like were on each other's nerves <laughs> the whole time a cat appears a cat named puss boy who i would prefer the other name hope that kind of that dream kind of named the cat after the cat belonged to tommy but tommy didn't really care for it and um at some point tommy kills the cat to show um, a ta that, that Dream still has attachments because Dream was attached to Hope, the cat. 
Um, so Tommy kills Hope, and that was like the final straw for Dream, because at this point they were being somewhat civil towards each other. Dream was giving Tommy like basically all the food that got, was dropped in. Um, so what else happens is that Tommy kills Hope. Dream that was like Dream's final straw, and Dream accidentally kills Tommy. Um, I think, I think it was accidental. I don't think Dream meant it, but you know, Minecraft. And so Tommy, Tommy dies, and right before this, Tommy was like, "Okay, this is all in character, right?" So Tommy was all like, "Um, you don't actually have the revive book, right? That was all made up to keep you alive." Blah blah blah. And then Dream was all like, "Here, I'll prove it to you." And so, why don't you go see Schlatt? That's true. That is true. He did say that. Um, I don't remember a bunch of lines. Um, and so Dream, um, kills Tommy, but then revives him because he has the revive book. Um, something about in Sam's point of view, Sam saw Dream, um, laugh, I guess. There's that. And then Sam kind of laughed. He was like, oh my god, Tommy died. And like tells everyone, oh my god, Tommy died. Um, and then Tommy got revived. And then, <laughs> and then you know, uh, nobody really knew until Sam came to check up later. Um, and then... He was like, Tommy, you're still alive. And then he let Tommy out. And then, you know, Tommy, Tommy saw Wilbur in the afterlife for a month in limbo. Tommy's limbo was like a void or something. I don't know. Um, and so he saw Will. He saw Schlatt. He saw Mexican Dream, I think. And then he came back after staying in limbo for a month, even though it was only two days in real life, question mark. Can't believe you've been doing a recap for two hours. Can you believe this is not the first time I did a Dream SMP recap? <laughs> I did one like like a year ago or something. Like several months ago at least. Uh, but yeah. Was it one month or two months? I think it was two months in the boat. Yeah, I think I think I said two months, right? It was like two months. Two days, one month and a half. One month and a half? Was it two days? I thought it was what? Okay, it's uh, I I don't know time. <laughs> he was in he was in limbo for a long time in comparison to the short time in real life. There we go. Um. So yeah, there's that. Tommy got let go. Um. And then you know, at some point, Tommy built a hotel. <laughs> at some point, he built a hotel. Um. At some point, Sam Nook was a thing. And at some point, um, you know, Michael, the pig, or something, I don't know, stuff happened. Um, yeah, the hotel is there, it's whatever. Jack Manifold tried to take it, eh, didn't really work. Something, something, the nukes, um, Tubbo made, um, nuclear bombs or something, or missiles, or something, and then one of them went missing after he tested them. Um, and then something, something, there's Jack Manifold and Nikki teaming up because they both don't like Tommy. Um, stuff didn't work out for them. They're kind of like Team Rocket, you know, things just didn't work out. Um, but Tommy was being un very unaware of it, you know. Um, what else happened? prison so tommy got let go and then at after tommy's um death within the prison sam made it so no visitors are allowed to visit dream in the prison um so this is where it gets a little bit dark because of Quackity's lore with Las Nevadas so Schlatt has returned as a ghost um Slat has returned as a ghost, and then Quackity finds him to confront him about the stuff with the elections or something. And then they made a deal. Ugh, I forgot the deal. What was the deal again? I can't remember. It was all like something that involves reviving Schlatt or something. Um, 
there is that. And then Quackity took some time to build Lost Nevadas. Lost Nevadas was built. And then um, Quackity recruited, um, quote unquote, recruited slash um, blackmailed um, Sam, Foolish, and Purpled, and Fundy to be a part of um, Lost Nevadas. The deal was if Quackity wins poker, um, Glatt works for Q in Las Nevadas. If Glatt wins, Q gets the book to revive him. I see. So, it... Okay. Yeah. Um, Quackity has revealed that Schlatt lost the poker. Um, the poker match game. Um, so, it has been revealed that Quackity going to the prison to get the revive book is actually out of his own free will. Um, not because he lost the, the the bet. Does anyone else have the habit of when new lore comes out, they ignore it and hold on to all the old lore? Um, no. At this point, like, I used to be, like, watching, like, lore and, like, being, like, very into it. But at this point, I just watch lore just to know, you know. I just watch it and I'm like, ha ha ha, that's nice. So, 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 Quackity builds Las Nevadas. Um, something something business partners with um, Sam with a casino because Sam helped build the casino in Las Nevadas. Something something um, Sam is the warden of the prison. Something something Quackity being like, hey, we're business partners. Let me let me do this. Blah blah blah. Um, let me get the revive book. Something something dreams bad. Um, and then something something Sam's like, okay, fine. Um, at first, Sam was very reluctant, but then he was like, you know what? You kind of convinced me. So Quackity um, gained access to being able to go in and um, basically torture Dream for the revive book. Um, yes, I would watch Quackity's lore, but each of Quackity's lore is like an hour long and I'm not going to watch all of his lore. That would be too long. That would be too long. So I'm just, if you guys would like to watch it, Quackity's lore is amazing. He works very hard on the lore, like amazing cinematography, um, amazing edits and everything. Also, I would like to add, he also found Charlie Slimesicle, who was in a hole <laughs> um, near Las Nevadas, I think. Um, and Charlie has been around for a long, long time and can, like, basically knows a lot of things because Charlie is just a slime, um, wandering around, overhearing stuff, and so he just knows a lot of things. So there's Charlie Slimesicle. Charlie Slimesicle is very important to Quackity's lore. Um, what else happened? There's the... There's the cookie base that Tubbo and Rombu basically kind of built. Well, Tubbo built, Rombu supplied the cookies um, to watch over Las Nevadas um, because Las Nevadas on Tubbo's eyes was up to no good, of course. Um, what else happened? So basically there's Quackity's daily visits to Dream. Um, and Sam allowed Quackity daily visits to Dream to try to get the Revive book. Um, no one else is allowed to visit. Um, something, something. Um, we have the Dream XD lore. We have we have George lore, if you guys <laughs> would like to get into that. Um, George's lore is basically... Um, how do I even explain George's lore? George's lore is like off kind of like off of everything but you know yeah George's lore is basically he sleeps um and Dream XD gives him dreams you know Dream XD befriended George they made a deal for um to be quote unquote friends and then you know Dream XD kind of just like sends him away to sleep for a long time and then George just dreams he dreams things but wakes up with the things that he dreamed about you know so like the events didn't happen in the dream like the events that happened in the dream didn't happen in real life but the items that he gets in the dreams comes with him back in when he wakes up you know so yeah there's that's George's lore um what else what else should I just like time skip 
Should I just like skip things and just start like throwing information? <laughs> because then, because Las Nevadas, um, we can do like one arc at a time. I don't know. So what happened in, with Las Nevadas? What did happen with Las Nevadas? Kinoko and um, Tails. We also have those. Oh, what is there to say about Kinoko? Kinoko happened. It was built. Um, uh, Carl built it for if you guys don't know the fiancés <laughs> fiancés is quackity sapnap and carl those three were supposed to get married but then it just never happened um so it's been revealed that quackity built L las nevadas as a safe place for his um, fiancés um carl did the same thing but carl is a time traveler um tails Tales is a little off series from the Dream SMP where it it shows Carl's um, time travel adventures to different eras and the friends he makes um, in each in each like place that he goes to. Um, there's that, and so by each one, Carl kind of like forgets. He starts losing parts of his memory the more he time travels. Um, so. There's this thing called the other side and the in between and um, all that. And uh, it gets complicated because Carl knows Dream XD. Dream XD has said that Carl is the is the time traveler for something and that there was another time traveler before him, but that time traveler forgot too much, so they kind of like um, left him be, so there's been, like, a lot of speculation and headcanons that the, the first time traveler that Dream XD had was Rambu, because Rambu is a forgetful character, he forgets a lot, there's Ender Boo, whatever, um, etc, etc, this, that, such and such, um, it's so complicated, but, you know, as long as you don't get into, get too much into it, you'll be fine. What else happened? Um, at some point in time, Quackity tells Dream. Um, Quackity doesn't successfully get the revival. He doesn't. But um, he does kind of, you know, get Dream to write a note to get Techno to the prison. Because... Um, Quackity's plan was to have the two strongest people on the server be stuck in the prison together. And so Quackity delivers the note that he made Dream write um, to Techno um, on Techno's birthday, I'm pretty sure. So the syndicate was together. He gets Techno, gives him the note saying like something, something Dream wants you to come visit the prison or whatever. Um, Techno basically knew that it was a trap, but he did want to check in on Dream anyway because he still owed him the favor. Um, and so Techno makes a plan um, to be able... So he set his um, Ender, Ender Pearl Stasis Chamber at the Syndicate and he gave the... Um, he gave his will to... Um, Phil and Phil was supposed to read it and if Techno didn't come back within three days he's supposed to activate the chamber but then Phil accidentally read it as three months and so Techno went to the prison to visit Dream and then they both get stuck in the prison for a while um, Dream gives Techno um, note the blueprints like or like cords to where he keeps the blueprints of the prison and this is where techno plans the prison break right but within the prison they meet dream xd because um dream was trying to like activate like the revive book and you know whatever prove it or something um and so he sends the revive book um um what's it called and tries to revive techno who's still alive 
And then Dream XD gets summoned, but instead of granting them the wish to <laughs> leave, Techno asks for a bell, and so there's a bell in the prison. So that's like a mini arc within the prison. Um, what else happened? <laughs> God, I feel like I'm just people talking and ranting. Like, none of this makes sense anymore. <laughs> um... So after this, Techno takes some time to plan a prison break by looking at the blueprints and everything, planning Withers, getting the syndicate to work with him. So Phil was in on it. Um, Nikki was in on it. Um, Rambu somehow also gets stuck in the prison. Um, if you guys know who Connor Eats Pants is, He's also in the prison for some reason. Um, so Techno does this plan, breaks into the prison, um, gets Dream, um, um, has to like you know explode some parts of the prison to get Dream out. That I, that activates the alarms. Um, so Sam is like rushing to, f to the prison. This is where like the whole server is basically in on it, um, minus several people. And so um, everyone rushes to the prison because the alarms were going. Um, people like meet around the prison area. Techno breaks Dream, Rambu, and Connor eats pants out um, for like fake idea stuff. Yeah. So yeah, Connor is in prison because he showed a fake military ID to get discounts at a restaurant. That was why he was in prison, but you know, there's that. Um, so he, so Techno breaks Dream out of prison, Rambu out of prison, and Connor out of prison. Um, at this point, they're trying to run away. Nikki summons Withers to create a distraction. Um, Dream was trying to run. Um, Sam takes Sam takes um, Rambu as hostage. Um, Dream, quote unquote, didn't care. Um, Techno did care, but Dream was not going to go back. Sam kills Rambu. Apparently, that was Rambu's final life. Um, Rambu dies, goes to Limbo because he lost his three canon lives. Um, at this point, there's nothing holding um, Techno back. They run back to the tundra. This is when um, this is when um, Techno asks for the supplies back from Dream, and then Dream is off on his own. And then after this part, we see Dream and Puns meet up. So this is where it's like confirmed, confirmed that it's a stage finale. Not lot, no, no, no people watch puns's point of view but if you watch puns point of view for this um you can see puns like splitting off from sapnap because sapnap made a promise with dream saying that if you break out of prison i'm gonna find you and kill you myself and so sapnap is trying to find dream um puns splits off with sapnap saying like we'll split up we'll cover more ground and so they had a rendezvous spot with um, Puns and Dream to meet up after the prison break. And this is where Puns supplied Dream with um, stuff, you know, to continue on with like whatever the plan is. So there is that. Um, it's been confirmed that they're still working together. Yeah, long time no see, buddy. Um... Um, I would like to think they hugged it out, <laughs> but it's Minecraft, but maybe that's just me. So it, that confirms that it's a staged finale, um, like 100% confirmed that it was. Um, so yeah. And then they went off in their separate ways because Dream was all like, people still shouldn't, um, know that you're still working with me. Um, so Puns runs off to go meet up with Sapnap again to say, like, he didn't, um, find Dream. And then, um, Dream... There's this small part with Tommy. We don't know if... I don't know if it's been confirmed that that was actually Dream. But Dream runs to the exile area, aka Logshire or something. Tommy was also there, encounters Dream. Um, and then Dream chases Tommy... To go back to the tundra and leaves him there. I don't know what that means, but there was a part of that. Phil didn't see Dream, but Tommy saw Dream, so we don't. I don't know what that meant. Um, some point after that, 
we in we have techno and tubbo meet in um meet in snow chester we see um yeah techno and tom tubbo meet in snow chester and snow chester is where they kept dreams old stuff like his old armor and nightmare his axe and like all that supplies and stuff so Techno and Tubbo meet in Snowchester to reconcile and, like, you know, I guess, like, talk about their differences. What also happened there was, um, Sapnap was going to get Dream's stuff. And Dream runs to this area to get his stuff back, encounters Sapnap. Um, the, the iconic techno keyboard scene where all four of them were in the same discord call for some reason, um, spying, cause like techno and Tubbo were kind of spying to see what was going on between, um, Dream and Sapnap. And then techno was just typing too loud during the scene <laughs> and just kind of interrupted them. Techno told Tubbo that Rama gave him a pick of Michael. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Michael, Michael will pick stuff like that. Whatever. Um... Yeah, and so during that portion, um, I don't know, I feel like, oh, what happened? Sapnap and Dream were kind of like, like, you know, trying to provoke the other, um, um, Sapnap saying, like, George doesn't care about you, something about Dream saying, um, gonna find Kinoko and, like, burn it down or something, and so... Dream runs towards the direction of where Kinoko is. Um, Sapnap tries to chase him and runs towards Kinoko, but kind of lost Dream. Dream kind of disappears somewhere. Um, and yeah, that's the prison break, right? Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? It's basically everyone, now that Dream's out of prison, everyone's all like, ah. Oh, dreams out there we should like you know protect ourselves or like whatever and then you know he kind of just dis that's basically it yeah yeah so there's that um what happens what happens how did uh, something something um i think it was um it was techno hubbo and and someone else, because, which is before the finale. Oh yeah, the red banquet. Oh, I forgot. I didn't actually really watch much of the banquet. So if anybody wants to explain the banquet in in chat, <laughs> I like I was I remember watching the banquet while I was exploring a new grocery store that opened. I was like, oh my gosh, this is new. But I'm also gonna listen to the red banquet, which I didn't really pay attention to. I'm sorry. Um um, what else happened? Um. And air it. Okay, yeah. I can't in a bit, but others can too. BRB, no worries, Crystal. No worries at all. Um, so yeah. So there was um I guess the three of them, Techno Tubbo and Eret, were trying to like, I don't know, work together to get Michael and like to get Sam to repay his sins <laughs> for taking Michael or something. Um, I don't actually remember. Um, so that kind of happened. The three of them kind of led, um, Sam into prison to lock him there, you know? And then at some point, Dream was all like, I'm gonna make the prison my house. And so he comes in and he was like, oh my gosh, what a nice surprise, Sam. You're stuck in here where I want to be. And so basically he kind of held um, Sam in prison. They kind of like talk it out being like, hey, you did bad things. I did bad things. But hey, at least I admit that I did bad things and my bad things I was trying to do for a greater good. Um, are you admitting that you did something bad? Because you did something bad. You did bad things to me. You allowed someone in here to torture me for months. Are you not going to admit that that's a bad thing? Um, and Sam was all like, no. <laughs> I think, uh, at the beginning. And so Dream just kind of like kept him there, fed him, gave him steak, um, gave him food, left him alone, just let him sitting there to rethink and whatever. And something, something like, um, at 
I forgot. Was it like a week? Was it a week? Or like, was it several days? Oh, something. And then Dream was all like, hey, let's make a deal. You just let me stay here. Admit that you're wrong. Um, that you did some bad things. Um, you let me stay here. Don't let anyone, um, you know, know that I'm here and et cetera, et cetera. And Sam was like, okay, fine. You have a deal. And then Dream kills him. Um, Sam loses a life. And he's like, this is just revenge, you know? And so this is the arc where Dream lives in the prison. So Dream, the prison is Dream's house now. Um, yeah. And so Sam is now out roaming about free. Um, uh, oh my God. There's Sam Bucket Lore. I forgot. Oh, <laughs> there's so much. There's so much. Um, so yeah, so at this point of time, Dream still lives in the prison, still works together, really was starving after like one day in the prison, I know, right? Um, so yeah. Yeah. What else happened? <laughs> Meanwhile, Dream didn't get feed for like a week or more. Yeah, that was when like Tommy was there. Like, he was all like, oh my gosh, Tommy died. Therefore, there's no one of importance that needs food in there. There you go. Something about the courtyard. Something, something, something. Um, what else happened? Oh! During the prison, um, during, like, during the prison arc where Dream was still in prison, I completely forgot about this. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, so this is, we're backtracking, we're backtracking. So Dream's still in prison at this point. Um, Tubbo, Rambu, and Tommy were talking it out and they're working together and Tommy wants to go in, go in, um, with, um, using, um, Ghost Burr as, like, a visitor, go in to kill Dream in prison, right? So that was what was supposed to happen. Um, Tommy didn't wait for the right moment to go, um, to, like, jump in and kill Dream when Ghost Burr was used as, like, a decoy to go visit. Um, Ghost Burr gets trapped on the side with Dream. Um, Sam brings Tommy back, but wasn't in time to free Ghost Burr. Dream kills Ghost Burr to revive Wilbur. So Wilbur gets revived, comes back in the, the middle of the Lamanberg destruction. So Ghost Burr is gone, Wilbur is back. So um, that was also the reason why no one's allowed to visit Dream anymore. Because of the Tommy incident and the Ghost Burr incident. So Ghost Burr is now in limbo. Um, Wilbur... Wilbur has a quote-unquote um, arc where he makes another van to sell burgers because his quote-unquote rivalry with Quackity um, and Las Nevadas and something and then I don't know something clicked or whatever and then Wilbur was trying to make amends and goes to apologize to a bunch of people um blah 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 he goes to people one by one to apologize try to like make amends a lot of it didn't work a lot of it kind of worked I don't know and then at some point um Tommy follows Wilbur and then Wilbur is all like I gotta go Tommy I'm sorry and then Tommy's all like what do you mean you gotta go and he was like I hate to break it to you Tommy but all this time I was American I live in Utah and then Wilbur moves to Utah um moves back to Utah I should say that's Wilbur's lore <laughs> yeah yeah I didn't really understand it either but you know what as long as they're having fun Anticlimactic, but I guess it's fine. Yeah. Did you do the Red Banquet? Not yet. Someone explained the Red Banquet above. Um, the Banquet was basically come to party. Wait, it's a trap. Nope, we have gear against your chap. Well, ha, huh, your gear is ours now. So is Hannah. But I have powers to destroy your egg. Nah, your powers are useless. And Ant Frost will kill Foolish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. I freaking love that. <clears throat> then Techno Purpled and Quackity save the people and trap the egg. Yep. There you go. That's the Red Banquet summary. 
Because Lamanber was against the Americans. You can say that Wilbur was from America in lore. Oh, yep. Can you do foolish lore? Okay, I can quickly do foolish lore. So qu foolish uh, made the summer home. Um, by the time foolish really makes an appearance in the lore, Dream was already in prison. So foolish is a quote unquote freelance builder <laughs> um, who is somewhat of a demigod. Um, who has stopped doing godly things to become a builder and builds a summer home for him to live in in the Dream SMP. So he kind of gets um, blackmailed-ish by Quackity to be a part of Lost Nevadas. So Foolish builds um, some parts of Lost Nevadas and the underground bunker for Lost Nevadas for emergencies. Um... Uh, Foolish also built the mansion in the Snowchester, also helped build Kinoko, but no one really gives him credit for it, ca canonically. Um, like, in IRL, yes, everyone knows, everyone knows Foolish built it, and was quote-unquote paid to do it. Um, but, yeah. Foolish first lore was the Egg Empire, by the way. Yeah, Foolish didn't really have much lore. He was around everywhere. He kind of, like, um, fit in with, like, bads and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. Eggpire stuff. There you go. There you go. Foolish. Um, I think, how did Foolish encounter Dream XD? I don't know. It's like God with God or something. Dream XD kind of just like shows up and asks for a statue of him to be built. Something about him being immortal? Yeah. It's like, it's like, um, you build, you do something for me and I'll give something for you. It's like a deal, you know? And so, Foolish builds a statue of Dream XD and after the Dream XD statue being built, um, Dream XD grants Foolish, um, not only being immortal, but friendship <laughs> because i think in between this um um dream xd also asked for like you know get more people to like know who he is so foolish tried to make like the dream xd club um and recruited some people that included corpse tina bad some other people um but yeah yeah it's kind of also revealed that callahan got some special abilities because he used to be um um, Dream XD's quote unquote pet. Um, that was some terms that was used. And then, you know, Dream XD kind of been like, hey, and then what lore are you talking about? Foolish's lore. Um, and then Foolish was all like, we're friends? And he's like, I guess. <laughs> and then, um, Dream XD kind of told Foolish as friends, quote unquote friends, um, that there are two books out there. There's the revive book that Dream has, and then there's the death book, which Sapnap has. Um, so there is some lore that Sapnap did. Sapnap found a book called the death book encounters Dream XD. I didn't really watch this stream, um, but I think what happened was that, um, um, Sapnap um sapnap got the death book and then dream xd got summoned and was going to explain the death book because i think sapnap um um sapnap also threatens foolish with the book too right sapnap doesn't know that um that foolish ha knows about the death book so it was basically death note yeah it's basically death note um and Sapna wanted to use it to kill Dream, but he can't because if the death book is used to kill someone who owns the revive book, then the person who has the death book also dies. So not only does Dream dies, but Sapna would die if he kills Dream, right? Um, so Dream XD is trying to tell Sapna to get the revive book or something. So that if Sapnap obtains the revive book, he won't die if he kills Dream. 
Um, and so Dream XD tells this to Foolish, saying, hey, you might want to get these two books. Um, because something about, like, no, something about how Dream XD doesn't, something about he can't have Dream die. Holder of the Revive book just can't be killed with the death book. Is that real? Wait, then. Then what does it mean? Wait, okay. There's there's this one part of the, the thing where it's like, if, 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 if someone uses the death book, they also die or something. Or is it like, if you use the death book, then the revive book is gone? I don't know. Something. Ugh, these books. I don't know. It doesn't... But doesn't each death from the death book take Thapnap's life? I have no idea. I didn't watch. I didn't watch so far. <laughs> There's that part that I was confused on. I just know that um, GMXD told Foolish this, and so um, made a deal that he kills Dream himself, then counts that as all his own lives gone. I see. So Thapnap's trying to get the revive book so that he can use the death book. Um, that's the confusing part. So there's there's Foolish trying to get both of the books. So Sapnub doesn't know that Foolish knows about the books. Um, and neither does Dream. But at some point, Dream comes and talks to Foolish. And then there's... Everything's a blur because this happened like a long time ago. Since the stream and occasional mention here and there, yeah. Um, this happened like so many, so many months ago, like earlier this year, probably, right? Earlier this year, it happened. Um, like beginning of 2022, all of this happened. And then, you know, there you go. Eric and Foolish lore. I think Eric and Foolish just pretty much went to the, the banquet together. I'm pretty sure. That's all I know. See, Sapna has so much potential, but yeah, but you know. So Sapna now hunts down. So Foolish now hunts down Sapna to rid of the death book. Yes. There is the mini arc of Lysandberg, but I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> there's Lysandberg, and then there's the cactus. Um, this, this is all towards like Foolish and stuff. And then, then we have the end of Las Nevadas, um, where. Purple was all like, um, he doesn't want to work for Quackity anymore. Like, I'm gonna get revenge or like whatever for my UFO or something. And so, um, Purple, I'm like jumping back into Las Nevadas lore. Um, so Purple creates this plan because he knows the one weakness that Quackity has is how much, um, he cares for. Charlie Slimesicle, who, um, who Quackity has been trying to teach to be more human, right? Um, and then Purple uses that against Quackity and then kills Charlie Slimesicle. Um, and so after this, um, Quackity finds another Charlie, like another slime, because, you know, Charlie's a slime, he comes back, but then he's like, his memories are kind of gone, so he's just kind of like, just a slime, no longer like a slime person that knows like, humanly things. Um, something about legacy. Um, something, something, something. Quackity. What does Quackity do? I think this is when the underground bunker becomes built or something, and then just in case if something happens, and then... God, I'm my brain is so mush right now, trying to remember the order of all of these things. And then, I don't know, Quackity finds a bunch of slimes in Slime Army. No, 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 he didn't find a bunch of slimes in Slime Army. He kind of made them. He made clones, didn't he? Um, so he built, like, a facility with the help of Foolish um, to, to create, like, a slime army for emergencies. And then at this point, Purple is trying to use the original Charlie um, 
to go against um, Quackity. Um, Puns encounters purple and was all like, hey, um, let me explain the scenario with Dream and Quackity and you, we can team up. And so the three of them team up to, I don't know, say lies, question mark, for, um, I literally came back to you still explaining lore. Hey, it's much faster. You know, I'm trying my best. <laughs> um, I'm at the Lost Nevadas finale, though. So at this point, um, Purple, Puns, and Dream team up to get Charlie to go against Quackity. And then, um, so at some point, they corner Quackity in his casino, Dream and Purple purple to come and corner quackity to try to get revenge um but what happens is that um foolish jumps in um quote unquote unleashes the slime army so all the slime army pretty much came to help and like protect uh quackity and then dream and purple fight them off but also exploding a lot of lost nevadas um, as well. And then at some point, somewhere, Purpled also gets Purpled and Slime kind of corner quackity again. And then um, something, 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 Charlie Slime Skull is all like, you, you people and like, no one's great. You're bad. <laughs> all of you guys are bad. Um, punches purpled off the building then later also punches quackity off the building um and quackity loses another canon life purpled also loses a canon life as confirmed by purpled um who knows where charlie slimesicle is now quackity kind of like is on his final life now apparently um i thought he lost all his lives but no he didn't and so then he goes back to rebuild lost Nevadas. that's the end of the lost Nevadas and quackity lore um Say Charlie's speech word for word. I cannot. It was so good though. Like, is it confirmed? Charlie wrote that without Quackity knowing. So when they went to record the lore, Charlie just whipped that out. And at the end of it, Quackity was like, what the heck? <laughs> it was good. So yeah, <clears throat> there's that. That's the end of Lost Nevadas. Um... There's the Sam Bucket lore. Do I want to get into the Sam Bucket lore? Okay. Very briefly, the Sam Bucket lore is um there's this there's this um person named Sam Bucket. Um um there's this person named Sam Bucket who's out collecting buckets from people. Right? Um and bad boy halo sees him and he's all like oh my god sam bucket what kind of scary creature runs to encounter sam tell sam about it sam's like you're crazy um after sam goes to investigate finds this small area for sam bucket um finds like an underground area encounters sam bucket runs off finds bad after telling bad like bad you're crazy you're good and bad is all like okay I'm crazy. Everything's fine. Sam finds Sam Bucket, runs to Bad, saying, Bad, you're right. And he's like, oh my god. So I'm not crazy crazy. Um, and so they try to go encounter Sam Bucket again. Um, and then Bad finds Sam Bucket. And in the end, we find out that Sam Bucket is actually trying to protect trap the egg because the egg is weak to iron that's why he's getting buckets because buckets are made out of iron and then you know sam bucket kind of traps himself under with the egg um something about a dog um because sam bucket wanted to bring his dog back um <clears throat> and you know um and we left it at that that was Sam Bucket lore. 
basically in very super very very general terms that's sam bucket um and then the egg lore finale is where the people who were infected by the egg um had like two split sides one to stop encountering the egg and the other is to get rid of the egg those are the two sides um you know they kind of encounter at the egg part loss of people killing each other for hopefully doing the right thing in the end it was revealed that it was skeppy behind the whole thing to get revenge on um um to get revenge on bad killing him, I think. I don't know. I think I watched the lore on stream. Was that what I did? I think I did that. Skeppy wanted to keep bad safe. Yeah. Someone please explain. I watched it, but I can't remember it. So. That's the egg lore. Eggler finale. Um, yeah. Phil and Sam lore. Oh my god, I forgot about Sam lore. I didn't really understand, by the way. He killed bad, as seen during the an um, animatic during the finale stream. Yeah, he did. But the egg wasn't fully removed from Bad, like how it was removed from Skeppy when Bad killed him. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I watched it on stream and I was just like confused. But you know, that's just how it be. Yeah, there you go. On the billboard. Billboards. On the billboards. What other lore is there? There's the Sam lore. Do I... Can I explain the Sam lore? Like, even I was confused about the Sam lore. Um, something about Sam cloning himself. And then something about the future and Boomer finding him. Something... Um... Finding the original Sam, because the original- because something how the original Sam was locked away and his clone was out there or something, and then Sam is trying to remember what happened or something, and then, um, um, Boomer finding him, and then they're trying to, like, run back to the SMP or something, finds this frog area, Boomer is all like, oh my god! this looks like the stuff from my tribe and then jumps into the portal um to go back to his um you know his uh his uh to find out more about his village so there's boomer boomer's gone i think and then is that also the end of sam's lore because boomer was running for years apparently he's like forrest gump you know Hi, G. Hello. Yep. There you go. That's Sam's lore. What other lore are we missing? <laughs> How many hours have I been talking? Like, two to three hours? Trying to explain the lore as generally as possible. Puffy? Rambu? I kind of explained Rambu's lore. In the end, he died. Sorry about that. Haven't been able to watch your streams in a while. Yeah. I joined after the Red Festival in 2020. Um, catch up however you can is a very interesting story. Yeah, it is. It's very... It's it's interesting. It's a little bit all over the place. Um, it gets really complicated, especially after the final disc finale. Um, but, you know. One way to catch up is reading the wiki. That is one way to catch up reading the wiki there's some people who do does lore recaps but also more, more recent stuff has not been updated though yeah it hasn't um but i will say at some points you might have to do your own research because there's some biases in some um people's 
um recaps and tellings and stuff uh i don't know i feel like i don't know how biased i was when saying some of these things i just kind of people talked <laughs> people talked and word vomited i was like blah 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 when did you join the dream smp like as a fan right <laughs> Because <laughs> um, I started watching the Dream SMP um, end of 2020. My first Dream SMP lore stream I've ever watched was um, November 16th. Yeah. There's always a little bias, and depending on which point of view you're talking to, there is biases in people's point of view. So that's why there's biases when Tommy talks about like his lore and his character because he's he can only speak from his character's point of view. Um, there's biases in like everybody's. There's biases in Foolish. There's biases in Eretz. There's biases in like Puffy, Tubbo, and like all that. Like every character has their own biases, and they can only speak from what they know. You know. So they can only talk about what their character knows and how their character behaves and stuff. So yeah, there you go. There you go. So depending on which POV you watch, there's always some biases. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess I should also say um, Dream did post a small mini clip of his lore on Dreamx on his DreamXD channel where he and Puns tested the revive book on um, Laser Beam and um, Vicstar and that's why you don't see those two anymore. There's that and that's how they prove that the revive book works and how the revive book works so. Gotta go by? No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Um, but yeah. There you go! A dr dream SMP lore! Woo! Woo! <laughs> yep. There you go. That's the lore. Yep. I like I like um I may have just like ranted from beginning to end about the lore, but there's so many things that I just can't say. Like there's so many things that I just like brushed brushed upon with the lore. So yeah, at some point you guys have to do your own research um if you want to know more about the the SMP, but you know there you go. There you go. That's generally what you guys needed to know. Basic lore recap. Just for the hype because, you know, lore. Lore is a, lore is a happening. Lore is going to come back. Um, so just so you guys know, season one will end um, with a bunch of people wrapping up their lore. And then season two will happen. Um, all we know about season two is that it's basically not really new characters but it's still related to the current smp but people people are doing their lore differently for season two so that's exciting that's exciting i think my theory i think the theory that we came up here was that they're playing their next generation of characters but i think i heard somewhere from somebody saying something and for some reason i'm like this theory can't really work anymore but i don't actually know who creates the lore? Um, the members themselves. Even though parts of it is like, you know, is scripted, um, parts of it is like written. Like, for example, Quackity's lore, what everything is like pre-written, um, and everything and like, you know, recorded and not live streamed. But a lot of people make their own lore. You know what I mean? So Puffy makes her own lore, foolish does his own improv and like all his own lore bad helped um does his own lore and the egg lore and everything so people play their own characters they write their own lore so it's not just like 
one person writes all the lore behind the scenes. No. Everyone has their own lore that they write themselves. So. There you go. Thunder. Lightning. Finding my name is adrenaline. <clears throat> Believe. Yeah. Bum 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 bum. So as a little celebration, I will draw a mini, a mini character dream. Here we go. Uh, here, I'll just expand the canvas a little bit. Oopsie. Just a mini one. And with this mini dream, this is pre-prison dream, by the way. There is a fit check, by the way, but I can refund that. Oh, yeah, refund that because I feel like my fit check isn't good. I'm so sorry. I missed it. Here we go. Mm, brank me. Mm. Swoosh up, swoosh down, swoosh up. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This just brings back memories. I haven't drawn a dream like this in so long. If you don't count the one that I showed earlier. Here you go. Here we go. And then I draw him with his hoodie. And then he has his turtleneck. And then I always drew him with this. And then. Um, there's his armor. Um, I don't really give him a chest plate. <laughs> um, here we go. Here's this. He has fingerless gloves. Of course. Mm -mm. Oops. <laughs> He's so... <laughs> what does that term people use? Baby girl? <laughs> Don't feel alive. Our scrungle. True. Something a belt. Something. He does something. Uh boots. X, 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 shoelaces. There we go. Here we go. 
how to draw like you do? Like, <laughs> you want me to do a stream where I kind of just like tell you guys my art process? I could, but I don't know. I'm really bad at teaching, so. This is how I always do Nightmare. Dreams Battle Axe. This is Nightmare. There we go! A mini sea dream that I haven't drawn in so long, actually. There you go. Be happy. <laughs> the little scurungly. There we go. Our little war criminal. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, random G lore. Um, I started my Twitter art dream smp um thing as um a, a lore comic fan artist <laughs> that's when i started getting my following i used to make comics and then there you go kind of just liking the cc's for themselves after a while there you go There you go. There you go. Sea puns. Oh my god. Remember sea puns? How do I draw sea puns? I don't remember how I draw sea puns. Something like this. Our little mercenary. Oh, our little mercenary who's all like, who's all like, <laughs> um, um, who's all like, Trey may be my employer, but I care a lot for him. Didn't actually say those words, but has been, um, hinted, <laughs> has been hinted that, that, you know, one cares for dream. He cares for dream. He does it for the money only. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. If he did it for the money only, he would have been gonzo by now. Come on now. Offering a part of his tower for Dream to come to whenever he needs. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Man. Guys, I miss Seedruns. They're, they're besties, your honor. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Cat Demon! Thank you so much for the follow. Um, oh my god, okay, there's so many people that follow that I didn't say anything. Midnight Pearl, thank you for the follow. Blade Queen, thank you for the follow. Um, Eluki, Elukal, thank you for the follow. Starheart, thank you for the follow. Wheats, thank you for the follow. Alguian, thank you for the follow. And Cat Demon, thank you for the follow. Thank you guys. Here we go. Hello, hello. <laughs> no emotional attachments. Mm hmm. Mm 
puns. Sea puns. I haven't drawn Carl in so long. I actually don't know how I draw C. Carl. <laughs> I know I draw Carl with like a bunch of like curly hair. He wears like what goggles? Ah, please. <laughs> um, doesn't your stream get muted from the music? Um, I split my audio. So, um, so my VOD doesn't play any music, um, but you guys can hear it live. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, ghost, ghost Liam. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, does the swirl go like this? Carl. I think. Right? What's my favorite song from Derivacat? Lost in Space is a good song. Win It All is also a good song. Mm. Casino Royale is a good song. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Lore. Yep, that was like two to three hours talking about lore. But there you go. There you go. Guys, it's so late for me. I didn't expect to stream this long, but you know what? Almost eight hours. It's been a while since I did an almost eight hour stream. You know, over six hours. It's been a while since I did one of those. And, you know, I think, I think I'm going to wrap it up soon. I'm going to wrap it up soon. Do it all the time. Bum, bum, bum. Over the world. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Guys, this might be it. This might be it. This might be it for, for the stream today. Um, There's a possibility that I'll stream tomorrow where I'll actually work on our trust. Trust. <laughs> yep. Yep trust um i'll actually work on some art tomorrow um but yeah i think that's it for today thank you so much guys for hanging out with me um i had a good time it was fun we did some reacting we did quite a bit of reacting we played a video game that i liked um for a good couple hours we can make it to the eight hour ads. I don't think I ran the hour six or hour seven ads, <laughs> which is fine. I'll give it to you. I was too busy explaining Dream SMP lore, but, but yeah, there you go. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, don't go anywhere yet. We're going to raid somebody probably. So yes good night everybody thanks for hanging out um but yeah 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 anyways 
Let's see. Who shall we raid? Who shall we raid? Do it all the time. Here. I'll send you off to Gabe. I don't know when Gabe is ending, but here we go. I'm going to send you off to Gabe. Gabe's a good friend of mine. Um, it's been a while, so. Yeah. There we go. Thank you guys so much for being here. I had a ton of fun. I hope you guys had a good fun as well. If you guys enjoyed the stream, make sure to follow, turn on notifications um, because I don't have a streaming schedule, though I might be streaming tomorrow. I'll let you guys know via my Discord. Here's my socials. There's my Discord. And yeah, remember, you guys are loved, you guys are cared for, and you guys are worth every single second. Make sure to take care of yourselves, stay hydrated, eat food, and get lots of rest. And remember, guys, you're valid no matter what. As long as you are not hurting anyone, including yourself, you're valid, okay? And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, so yes, streaming tomorrow, but streaming Friday, definitely, maybe, probably, we'll see. Um, I set that in my schedule, but I, I don't know if I really follow that, so. Yes. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, if you guys want, Foolish is also live, playing, um, Once Upon a Jester with, um, Carl and Corpse, but I am raiding my good friend, um, Gabe. They are doing a quick short stream before they head out somewhere. I think. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here. And remember guys to spread kindness, spread positivity, um, and be kind to each other. Okay. Love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I had a lot of fun. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.